regular shape. Yeah. Uh, so I think it kind of reminds you that it's a natural That's stone. True. And if you mm. if you sort of retail your jewellery as well, that kind of tells the consumer exactly. that, um, that it is the real deal. Sorry, let me just get myself comfortable. Um, I'll tell you what, we've got loads. We've got mucha, we've got garnet, we've got malachite, we've got spinel, we've got peridot. I'm looking across your kits. We've got gemstones like emerald. We've got your jaspers. We've got appetites coming up. So let me just tell you what today, uh, how today is planned. So amazing kits with monica beautiful designs thank you for stepping in oh it's okay bless your heart so uh, monica's got some lovely kits which are just fully loaded carrot heavy um if you've never done techniques like your wags y comb for example then monica um, is going to be able to talk you through that too we've also got coming up in today's show we've got a beautiful ready-made nugget necklace actually Ooh. which i think is crocheted it looks like it's crocheted to me 370 carats wow. that you're looking at here. Um, literally could just pop over the top of your head, never been seen before. We've also got your uh, s uh, base metal, so silver plated base metal, very Pandora inspired bracelets just there. Um, we've got shell pearls, we've got some beautiful tiger's eye, neon appetite coming up today as well. Um, a wonderful showcase where I'm going to be joined by the wonderful Toby Cavill. So um, that's happening at 11 o'clock. Now, your deal of the day today, quite literally, is out of this world sorry i couldn't resist it um it, 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 well, it, it, well it's a gemstone that originates from um, a meteor collision that occurred uh, many 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 thousands of years ago um that direct collision be uh with the meteorite and also mother nature is basically what produced this beautiful natural gemstone now it is only found in one location in the world um, and that is the Czech Republic. So this is your deal of the day. It's Moldavite, mm. incredibly rare, and one for the collectors and the connoisseurs. So that's at 10 a.m. today. Also, uh, social media are doing um, a little giveaway as well. So pop along to um, our Facebook page and get the details for that because one of you could be in with a chance of winning thousands of carat weights um, mm. of your beautiful genuine gemstone nuggets, so much that they could couldn't physically fit it in a box. Hmm. <laughs> that's coming up. Um, well, that's that's well. It's, it, it's up there now. So have a little look at the uh, at the, at the uh, rules and regulations. So I think there's liking, <laughs> sharing, commenting, and things like that to do to be in with a chance of winning all of your beautiful gemstone nuggets. Um, and your masterclass. Yes, my masterclass is all about memory wire. Love that. And nuggets, of course. I mean, don't forget the nuggets. Yeah, yeah, of course, nuggets. nuggets. <laughs> and, and you know what? Memory wire, um, it's so popular. It is. Again, because it's really easy to use. Yeah. Really easy to use. Mm. Um, and it's not just wrap around bracelets or no. necklaces. No, I'm going to show you. Oh, I haven't got them here. I'm going to show you some clasps of bracelets with, um, with memory wire. Cool. Mm. Cool. So if you've never worked with memory wire again, stay with us. So we've got lots of opportunities today. Um, right then, before we go anywhere, make sure you text in. Come and say hello to us all this morning. Um, let's start the show with your Wall of Fame. Starting us off this morning is Erica. Good morning to you, Erica. You're number 409. Beautiful suite Aww. of jewellery. Uh, and she says, after seeing what Sue and Anne had made for the deal of the day, I couldn't wait to have a go myself. So I made this with topaz, hessonite garnet and spinel, finished with sterling silver. All components are from Jewellery Maker. And she says, good luck to everybody that enters. Number 410 is from Janine Mitchell. Good morning to you, Janine. Wow, Aww. beautiful. Uh, please find attached my entry to the Wall of Fame. I've used hematite hoops with dyed agate beads and my Yuki Crystal 11 O's. Finished with sterling, uh, sorry, with silver and gold plated findings. All from Jewelry Maker. Many thanks and that's from Janine. Beautiful. Would you like to read oh. two? Yes, sure. There you go. Which one are we up to? We're up to Bronwyn. Bronwyn. So the next one's Bronwyn Bacon. Hello to all at JM. My Wall of Fame entry this week is a bare copper pendant with four millimeter red jasper rounds and an eight millimeter gray agate round channel set with 0.4 millimeter wire. I used one millimeter brown leather cord with a moose knot at the front and two sliding knots. All components were purchased from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to all in the draw on Wednesday. Best wishes, Bronwyn. Love that, Bronwyn. Aww. 
Beautiful. Oh, it's really pretty, isn't it? Okay, the next one is Vivian Thoday. Mm -hmm. um, hi all, this week I have been browsing the web for inspiration and I found a necklace similar to this. Mine is made from cultured pearls, Mayuki seed beads, an extended chain and a clasp, all from JM. I have saved quite a lot by making one myself. Best wishes to all Woffers from Viv in Greater Manchester. Oh, Vivian, that's absolutely oh. beautiful. I love the colours. Oh, that's pretty. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I, I actually, I love Mayuki with pearls as well. It, it is. And, and um, I, I was watching the show yesterday and they were talking about pearls with Hannah and they said you don't need a lot of pearls in a no. piece of jewellery to make it really stand out. And that looks, that looks really amazing. Prime example of that. Make sure you send your entries in and good luck to everybody in the draw. Uh, that will be Wednesday this week with the lovely Carol. Now, without further ado, I think we need to get cracking, don't you? One thing I haven't yet showed you is your early bird today and they are utterly utterly divine now one of the rarest forms of garnet is mandarin garnet wait until you see these this is why I love the garnet family because they are so that one's just flipped over I'll flip it over in a second um but look look at the beautiful beautiful amounts of brilliance that you're seeing with each and every single one of those you've got rounds you've got ovals like i said that one's flipped over look at the quality you've got a pair which is flipped over there as well so i'll turn them around absolutely beautiful and totally and utterly natural frankly laura i can't believe we're taking it to the price that you've said on my on my uh, on my uh wow. poll sheet that's crazy low amazing quality and those of you that tune into the gem investor shows will have certainly heard jake um really highlighting how incredibly expensive mandarin garnet actually is so we're very lucky to get hold of a parcel for you this morning ridiculously affordable price tag so that's coming up within the eight o'clock hour um now you can you can you can can we can we have a little look at the website as well all the w's at jewelrymaker.com can we shop ahead mm. Can we shop ahead within this hour? Okay, no, just wait with us then and you'll be able to get hold of those. But all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, that's uh, how you can join us online. Um, yeah, if you get registered there, there's never any queues on the web or on the app either. Um, so literally click watch live, you can scroll down and you'll see the products that we're actually gonna be bringing you as well. Um, okay, so without further ado, let's get cracking on what will be a Fabulous, fabulous Monday morning show. I'm going to start with a massive bundle of beautiful, beautiful shell pearl. Again, Monica, this 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 reminds me of your beautiful um, bags. Yes, because I used this, I think, the same bundle for one of oh. the bags, one of the pink ones. Yeah, so yeah. pretty, aren't they? I mean. And they work so well together. They're slightly different colours, but they work really well together. But of course, you can use them all separately as well. You can pair yeah. them out two, two together, and then another two if you wanted to. So, well, yeah. it goes. But it goes back to what you just said as well. You know, pearls, shell pearl. You don't actually need that many to no, achieve no. that. Yeah, just um, that overall look. Um, one thing with shell pearl, you are absolutely guaranteed to have that perfect spherical shape. Um, they're far more robust as well than your average cultured pearl because they are basically reconstituted with those. Um, or organic materials that is pearl and that is shell um, completely smooth nacre surface you've got a mixture here across the four different strands is it four strands hang on two three i see five hang on no this last one is uh, the same as the one before what well, yeah <laughs> hey no wait i see five, five one, two, three. Here we go. Let me just sort, we'll, we'll, we'll just clarify. We'll go through what you get. So, starting from the top. Mm. Eight mils? Six mils, which are these? Four mil pale pink. And the white three mils. Not that one. There we go. There we go, there we go. So it is four strands. There we go. Four. That one's on its own afterwards. Sorry about that. I picked it up together. $9.99 for all four strands. And they work beautifully together as well, don't they? And they have a really nice weight to them as well. Um, you know, you can get plastic pearls, but straight away you can tell from the weight that these yep. are much better quality, much more robust than... Yep. You know. And general, uh, and generally, shell pearls tend to have a much larger drill hole through yes. the centre of them. So, even yeah. if you were to um, use it with things like your elastic or your wires, yeah. as we as we've got wires coming up in.
in the kit. In fact, actually, light bulb moment, this would look lovely alongside your nine o'clock kit. Yes incorporate them in together and i know that's something that that, that guest designer mark well, smith actually often does actually, i used some shell pearls at the back of this necklace here. and she did she did she did just two because i didn't want to cheat too much with the kids <laughs> yeah but nice little, little they finish them off really nicely beautiful yeah. and that's what thick gauges of wire running through the center yeah, that's of those 0.8 millimeter wire 9.99 let's bring you that pink strand on its own um, so these are four millimetre, a beautiful soft powder pink, I'm going to um, I'm going to describe it. Yeah, so lovely little baby pink or a powder pink. Um, again, use it to incorporate into things like seed beading, yep. wire work, obviously your standard beading as well. Going straight down to it, classic four millimetre rounds, three pounds and 99 pence only. They're beautiful. Look at that. The, yeah, on, the, on the recording, you can see it's much more of a sort of an apricot or peachy yes. like colour. But it still works really well with the bundle. So if you've got the bundle, you, I would definitely get this one to go with it as well because the four millimetre ones, you tend to use up much faster than the larger sizes. Mm -hmm. I agree, yeah. yeah. I do Even as though well. there's more of them on the strand, but you're using yeah. more of them for sort of embellishing and that sort of thing. So Yeah, I, I, and then having this, they're almost like that papaya colour, aren't they? They've yes. got a hint of that papaya uh, sort of apricot colour coming through. Um, you can do things like beady beads with these yes. and all, also your looming because you are yep. guaranteed that perfect spherical shape. £3.99 uh, pence only. Text in, come and say hello to us at Jewellery Maker. We would love to hear, for, uh, hear from you. What have you been up to over the weekend? Do you do anything nice? Um, what are you up to this week? Are you doing anything nice? Are you excited about Nugget Day? Got any questions for our gorgeous Monica? You're looking lovely today, by the way. Oh, thank you. You're looking really lovely. Well, it's because of the purple, you know. The pu oh, all the purple. <laughs> all the purple. It's your favourite colour, isn't it? It is, yes. Yeah, yeah. I think we might have guessed that. Um, <laughs> you might guess my favourite. No, it's, I wouldn't say it's my favourite colour. I just tend to wear a lot of black because I'm right. really boring as dressing. Um, OK, let's bring you a bit of decadence. Ooh, this is delicious. I'd use this for something like Ooh. your black spinel that's coming up. Oh, yes. Oh, what do we think of that? That's yeah, beautiful. That says what? That says ball, ball says Adam. Yes. yes, a gala ball. Yes, I get, I get that. Totally get that. Oh, yes. Oh, and alongside, what about all those beautiful garnets there in the red oh, the colour? emeralds as well. Oh, the emeralds. Emeralds. Um, it's, well, the, that, that's the, the wonders of gold. Uh, well, all your metallic colours. They're going to complement each of these gemstones. Those are emeralds coming up with Monica's kits at 9 o'clock as well. £2.99 only for oh, your 8 mil <laughs> shell pearls. That's awesome, isn't it? What an amazing deal. And even, even if you just restranded that on elastic. Yeah. And it's such a beautiful gold. It's not it's not a sort of garish gold. Yeah, I get it. Sometimes you get back the really garish gold. But this is beautiful. It's almost verging on a little bit bronzy. Yeah, I get that. It's beautiful. Like an aged gold rather than a yeah, yellowy that's it. gold. That's it, yeah. Two pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Make sure you check out your baskets. How many did I have of these then? 55, but there's lots of you on those call screens, so make sure you check out your baskets. Um, stay where you are. I do have some green onyx. I want Ooh. this strand. Laura, for my own personal benefit as well, how many do we have? Brand new. Oh, there's only 35. I love onyx. I love green onyx in particular because it has this presence, this glow, this almost aura about it, a beautiful uh, element of translucency to the gemstone. Um, and yeah, I could probably count on one hand the amount of times I actually bring, bring, uh, bring, <laughs> uh, bring green onyx, onyx actually to air. Um, yeah, we no, it's normally more in your sort of rondelles or um, different cuts. Not often we actually see it in the rounds of late anyway. So there's, how many do you say, 35 of these available? Beautiful. Look at that, look at that translucency that you see. I always rave about green onyx. I mean, so much so, but years ago, we used to be able to do uh, showcases of this gemstone. Um, the popularity has absolutely skyrocketed. $5.99, super affordable. And if you want a gemstone to really actually pack a punch, almost Zavarai-esque, then green onyx would absolutely get my vote. Hello, Surrey, Deirdre, Florence. Hello to you, London, Caroline. At Cornwall, you've got yours as well. New customers getting involved. Wonderful to be with you. $5.99? Even if this was $9.99, that would be absolutely amazing, wouldn't it? 
You could be rosary linking this. You could maybe knot it in with some black silk, something dramatic. Use some of your gemstones coming up in Monica's kit as well. Um, I think that would be absolutely amazing. There was, you like green with rose gold, yeah, yeah. I like green and black. I like I like that that, that sort of intensity that. Yeah, that, that wonderful contrast between the two. Um, make sure you check out those baskets. Stay where you are, because there was only 30 of those available. Right, let's bring you now some beautiful tiger's eye. Which size? Start with a 12. This, now, think ahead of your Neon Appetite Showcase. I was looking at this next to you. I've never seen it in that color. No, it's like a teal, oh, isn't it? Beautiful. Yay. It's a really, really beautiful teal color. Full of chatoyancy, of course, tiger's eye is what we call a phenomena gemstone. What that basically means is uh, tiny fibers within the gemstone bring you an optical effect. Can you see how the light almost travels um, across the circumference of the gem? Yeah, we've brought you the midnight blue, brought you green, we've brought you the sort of the, the natural golden colors, we've brought you red tiger's eye. But this, yeah, a lovely teal, so beautiful ahead of Toby's Neon Appetite Showcase. Or maybe contrasting it again with something like your uh, your green onyx that you saw a few moments ago. Now, we do have the 12 mil right now. And then I'm going to bring you the 10 mil. Um, these are brand new. It's a new color to our portfolio. <laughs> I don't know why. Whenever I say portfolio, it has to be said like that. <laughs> I want portfolio. I'm going to have to add that to my portfolio. <laughs> I think you should add it to your portfolio. £12.99. pence. I mean, I can't really hold a strand as gorgeous as this without mentioning the word Marla. Because oh. this would be absolutely beautiful in a Marla necklace, wouldn't it? I'm going to show you alongside, what do you think? Very un under the sea-esque. Oh, yes. <coughs> or, hang on, with the gold. <gasps> yes. Ooh. Pink, yeah. Bit of pink. It all goes, doesn't it? It's all working. Um, stay where you are on those phone lines. We'll bring you the 10 millimeter now. I'll place the two over the back of my hand so you can see from the same parcel. You've got that consistency of color as well. So if you are one of those that loves to uh, create a, a long line graduated necklace, then this is absolutely going to be for you. Uh, 245 carats. We're talking about the 10 mil right now. That's amazing. And I think sometimes 12 mil maybe some people might look at and think, well, that's just too big. But if they're tops of tassels, then yeah. yeah, fine. But 10 mil, much more wearable. Also in the 12 o'clock kits, I believe we've got some Amazonite chips coming up. That Ooh, would look amazing. Yes, that would be lovely. Mm. Amazonite and Neon Appetite. Yes. Oh, yes. Can you imagine yep. those all together? Yep. Nine pounds and 99 pence only to get hold of this. You see the fusion of green, the fusion of blue together. Alongside, let me just pick up one of the Neon Appetite strands that we've got coming up a little bit later on with Toby in the 11 o'clock hour. Again, mm. see how they, you know, they, they, they complement one another because they're very similar in their colors. We could have called this almost like uh, neon, neon tiger's eye because yeah. it has that similarity, doesn't it? How many did I have of these, Laura? Only oh. 27, so do oh. make sure you check out your baskets and come and say hello. Hello. Uh, we want to hear from you. Do you know the perfect strand? Oh. Oh, oh yes. Because that's just going to reflect anything you put oh. in it, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. Look at that clarity, Monica. Oh. Beautiful. Look at that clarity. They are flawless, aren't they? Now, we often say about quartz, there's a big difference between quartz as a mineral and quartz as a gemstone. Quartz as a mineral is almost like compact snow. It's not eye clean. Quartz as a gemstone is like liquid droplets of water and you will get the fire and dispersion that you see in other colorless stones, like the likes of your um, your diamonds or your or your zircons, for example, exquisitely faceted. I love those, the precision. And we're under significant magnification right now. Can you find any imperfections or flaws? Because I'm really struggling to do that. Again, I I I'd put this alongside cultured pearls or something like oh, that. Oh yes, yes. But also, even if you just if you thread it onto monofilament so that you don't get any colour from the thread, 
and just on its own like that, it looks like, you know, it's water. It does, doesn't it? And that would be something you can wear with absolutely anything. Sorry, it's, uh, there you go. All good, all good. Um, free phone, sorry, Monica. I was just having, okay. I'm having a few issues with my talk back this no, morning. Okay. So if I sound a bit distracted, <laughs> it's not gonna be, I'm not being rude. Um, that again, bridal. Yeah, yes. Little oh, droplets yes. of water yes. that have nestled on those leaves, as you just said. Oh, and you could put some little blue seed beads in there. You know, you've got your Ooh. blue and your, yeah. Lovely. I want to buy this strand and I would actually use it alongside the... Oh, the yes, yes. Um, so that's $9.99 for your absolutely flawlessly eye clean quartz. And this is £5.99. Oh. You can get both of those strands. Literally just alternate the two. Something quite quite 1920s inspired. It is, How about yes. maybe with something like this? Ooh. Almost La Peregrina-esque drop shapes. Would you use some of your uh, dusky pink pearls that you yes. saw a few yes. moments ago? Hello, Terry in Yorkshire. Nice to have your company this morning. I hope you're well. Good morning, ladies. Looking forward to today's show. Me too. It's going to be wonderful. All about the nuggets. Have we ordered nuggets? Because I feel on nugget day, we should have nuggets. <laughs> Chicken nuggets. I mean, I'm not a big fan of them, to be honest, but I'll have them just because, <laughs> just because it's nugget day. <laughs> I feel like I need to submerge them in a sauce because I'm not that fan. Not the first. Um, however, the strands you're going to absolutely love. Nine pounds and 99 pence only. People multi-buying on this straight away. Again, a perfect addition would be even more beautiful eye clean quartz. I mean, look at that. Look at the quality of that parcel together. I mean, that quartz, you could fit that in with any of these kits on the table here. Yeah. Absolutely any of them. And, yeah. and this is the thing. How often do we see clear quartz? Yeah, not very often, no. We don't mm. see it that often, especially, you know... I've seen some lovely strands of clear quartz, but sometimes they'll have a little bit of inclusions within mm. there. There might be, you know, the odd speckle of uh, sort of black uh, uh, feathering or cloudiness within the gemstone. These aren't. Look at the quality of those coins, faceted coins, no less as well. Um, you can still get hold of the faceted rounds. Just make sure you're quick on that one. Six pounds and 99 pence. I love that idea, Monica. Literally a, a sprinkling of clear quartz yeah. in a month your coloured gemstones. I'm picking up this garnet. I'm gravitating towards this garnet. And I'll do it this way round, just because there's so much of a carrot weight. These are coming up, or uh, the garnets are coming up in the nine o'clock hour. But yeah, there's, there we are. That's a sprinkling of magic with your clear quartz within um, your garnets. And likewise, this would be the same if I was to put it with a spinel or yes. with the emeralds. Yes. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Six ninety nine only. Make sure you check out those baskets. Um, do I have... Cabochons? Uh, I was going to say, yeah, they're not cabochons. I have rubies, but not cabochons. Here we go. Oh, and they're massive. They're absolutely oh. huge. That is genuine ruby that we're looking at here. Genuine ruby with those beautiful, deep, rich reds an element of pinkish tones, that glow that comes through. These are completely and utterly natural. Now, hang on a second, because 95% of the world's ruby is treated. Nothing wrong with that. It's either heat treated, fish are filling, or uh, um, it can be uh, um, diffused as well. Natural quality that you're looking at. And I'm going to address something. If you look at, if you look at the recording, Rubies are known to have what we call silks. It's a little bit like emeralds oh. have le jardin. Rubies have silks. Sometimes those silks can actually massively add to the overall value of those gemstones because they bring you phenomenal effects. So I'm loving the fact you've almost got that lattice work um, of silks within the gemstones. 15 carats is a pack of six that you're actually getting. Pack of two to six, sorry. So you're guaranteed the carrot weight. So as you can see on the recording, you've got three. Um, I've got five in the box just here. Um, natural ruby, silly price tag, says Laura. Oh, women, I mean, yeah, absolutely. Ruby is known to be the king of gemstones and can and does uh, fetch some of the highest price points. Nine pounds and 99 pence. I mean, natural ruby, you pay a premium for any gemstone that has that natural status. So if you do things like your prong setting, your wire work, your gallery wire, your yep. vessel strip. Yep. 
you can do anything with those. You can, you can obviously, you can seed bead around them. Of course. <laughs> with your 15s. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, so you've got loads of options there. And uh, I mean, that's, that's a lot, isn't it? It's, it's a lot of ruby. Yeah. That's a big carrot weight, 15 yeah. carats. Um, in this parcel, that's how that's how jewelers buy yeah. um, buy this gemstone is buy the parcel um, because you get the best deal, and that's exactly what you are doing right now. Uh, well done to you, Karen, Belinda, Jeanette, Christine, Sharon, new customers. Um, hello to you. Who did you say? Sorry, Avon. Hello to you. Morning, girls. I hope you're well. I have these rubies. They're amazing. Um, just get them. Don't miss out. Thank you, Avon. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Well, I just saw the price. It's a no-brainer. You, <laughs> you, 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 you pay massively more than that for just one. Yeah, I was thinking at least 30, 40 pounds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I looked up and I saw the price. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That's true. Uh, what is the going rate for a tooth this, uh, at the moment? Can you help me out here? Because it was, uh, oh, I think it was about 50p when I was a kid. Um, if that, actually. Uh, but yeah, Willow lost her first tooth yesterday Aww. and she was so excited. We had to actually, uh, um, you know, she, she wanted to keep it first. Yeah. Thing. I was like, don't keep it. You've got to give it to the tooth fairy. Um, anyway, um, lay my head down last night and then suddenly had that moment where I went like this. Tooth fairy! Tooth fairy! <laughs> tooth fairy! <laughs> <laughs> The, oh, can you the problem you these days is that the tooth fairy doesn't carry any coins anymore. No, exactly. <laughs> so what's the going rate of the tooth fairy? She got five pounds, so she could have got oh. she could have got half a pack of these. She could have got some ruby. <laughs> she could have got some actual ruby, um, and she had five pounds because that's all I could find. I could literally that's all I could find. Um, she could have got herself a genuine ruby. Can you imagine yeah. if the tooth fairy starts leaving yeah, gemstones? Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're on the verge of selling out. Don't forget you've got that beautiful mandarin garnet parcel coming up as well within this hour. And of course, um, your silver plated base metal. What was that, sorry? Do you think five pounds is too much? Oh no. Well, maybe for the first tooth it's fine, but. First tooth? <laughs> yeah. It was the first tooth. But the problem is she's got one, she's got one which is wobbly right next to it as well. Yeah, and then the problem is the next time they only get two pounds and then they get disappointed. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Is it going? Uh, I don't know. That to be fair, it was five pound on or nothing. That's all I had in that. <laughs> so, tooth fairy didn't have any change. Sorry, can't really put that in a note. Um, okay, let's bring you what? Sorry. Oh, I love this. It's so Van Cleef. Yeah. Um, you look at Van Cleef and Arpels, and of course they do. They're sort of clover-like design. They do it in malachite. They do it in uh, tiger's eye, to name but a few. Um, and it is sort of this, this four-petal uh, four slice that's then framed in 18-karat gold. Now, this is genuine millennium jade. What I mean by that is this discovery comes from British Columbia. Uh, 90%, the reason why we haven't really seen it here at Jewelry Maker is because 90% of the deposits from British Columbia go immediately to the... Chinese market. Yep. The remaining 10% goes to Van Cleef, goes to Tiffany's yeah. & Co, goes to those kind of locations, you know, your Elsa Peretti's. Um, so anybody that works with bezel strip, anybody that works with prong setting, anybody that works with gallery wire, seed beading, of course, um, you know, be inspired by those big designers because this is the exact same material that they're working at, working with right now. Now with um, your Millennium Jade, you get an amazing amount of translucency and you get natural colour that's not enhanced, that's not dyed um, in any way, shape or form or polymer impregnated. It's natural, genuine nephrite. Um, as one of the, I always describe it, Jade is like the surname and you have your Jadeite and nephrite are almost the children. Two totally chemically different gemstones, um, but... They come under that umbrella or surname, if you like. Four carats. I love this, Laura. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we launched it. I think Carol launched it, actually. Um, and it absolutely flew out the door. Because, let's be honest, I, well, I, I can't afford a, a Van Cleef and Arpels piece of jewellery, but I like it. I do like those designs. So it's our opportunity as creators, as the, the crafters that you all are, you can make something inspired by them. Seven pounds and ninety-nine pence only to get hold of genuine Millennium Jade. So you you're basically sourcing from that ten percent pool that would normally, like I say, go to your Van Cleefs, go to your Tiffany's and Co, go to your Cartiers, 
And who knows then what price tag it would have been. Seven ninety nine only. How many do I have of these? Oh. Only 21 of them left. Yeah, I knew it wasn't going to be many of them because... It, 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 yeah, it, it's absolutely flown out. Have I got some advice on the Tooth Fairy? Um, lovely. Hello, Debs. Uh, hi, all. Tooth Fairy brings £5 for the first tooth and £1 for all subsequent teeth. I'm yeah. going to roll with that, Debs. That sounds about right. That's good. <laughs> Phew. Thankfully, well, sometimes two pounds if she doesn't have a pound coin. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, good morning, ladies. L. My son got five pound for his first tooth and two pounds for each one after that. Told him you always get more for the, for the first one. Carol. Yeah. Yes. Cool. I mean, I didn't plan on giving her. <laughs> <laughs> but you were ambushed by a tooth. <laughs> Can you imagine if I had to write a check? <laughs> I am you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, there's very rarely any cash in our house. I'll just put a debit card there. Under the debit pillow. card, yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> there you go, Philly boots. Um, oh, oh. Actually, we went, we, went, we went food shopping, Willy and I, on Friday, and she was like, Mummy, you haven't got any money. I went, <laughs> I went, <laughs> I know. No, I was like, what do you mean, Willow? And she says, I looked in your purse. There's no Nothing money there. in there. I was like, no, it's okay. Well, we can use you, use the use the plastic card. <laughs> it's the same thing. And what are you doing in Mummy's purse? Anyway, without further ado, oh, I tell you what, these are just glorious, and it is really. I'm going to say Mandarin and Zabrite are the two varieties of garnet that really caught my heart uh, because it is everything that we know and celebrate about garnet they have the most dazzling dazzling refraction far beyond many other gemstones out there but what that basically means is they play with the light beautifully they're always completely natural but if you've been listening to what jake thompson your gem investor has been saying over uh, sort of the, the past few years then you'll know that mandarin garnet is quite the investment <laughs> I'm just going to open this up for you because the, the, the container is doing it um, a disservice here. Yeah, yeah, I've just asked Laura in that, in that short break. I was like, Laura, can you Google something for me? Um, and it's Harry Winston. I mean, there's a big name. Um, Mandarin Garnet and Turquoise. And the reason why I want to show you is that's the calibre of establishment that is working with Mandarin Garnet right now. And, and as I said, Jake Thompson, excuse me, not looking at you for a second, I'm just flipping these over. Jake Thompson has been advising us on, you know, he's really always hailed and really championed Mandarin Garnet as the next big thing. It's there already. Um, and the reality is Mandarin Garnet is astronomically expensive so expensive at the moment but with jewelry houses like harry winston throwing their weight behind it i guess we shouldn't be surprised um so yeah i just wanted to flip them over because some of these we were actually looking at the pavilion of the stones there um but look at that look at the quality of and that's a natural stone that's huge, by the wow. way, as well. Mandarin garnet forms in very, very, very small sizes. And this color is all mother nature. Now, I just want to read you something uh, from my very brief, short notes um, all about this gemstone. I very rarely get the chance to flick to this page. So that's why I want to read it really more than anything. Um, and the reason, the reason why I don't get to flick to this page is because we don't see the gemstone very often. An extremely rare variety of orange garnet, often referred to as mandarin garnet for its vivid colour. The combination of vi vivid colour and a very high refraction makes this gemstone a true miracle of beauty. Vivid oranges and deep hues are the most valuable, especially when you see clarity and size. With its fiery, comet-like appearance, Mandarin Garnet first appeared some decades ago. Specialists and collectors flocked to own this new sunset gemstone. Previously, deposits discovered were exhausted very quickly, as so little of this grade were being unearthed. 
As miners dug deeper, the yield became smaller and smaller and the cost increased. In a very short time, this beautiful gemstone, uh, gemstone into the, uh, so, uh, sorry, flew into the international jewelry scene. Now, sadly, it's become available only occasional, uh, occasionally from collectors and cutting centers. I don't think I've brought you Mandarin Garnet in the past two years. I know Jake's brought you some, but I, I don't think we've actually seen it on the jewelry maker screens outside of Jake's show. This is that piece that I wanted to show you. That is a wow. huge Mandarin Garnet. Wow. And do you see how it literally looks like it's fire? It does, yeah. yeah. Harry Winston, Framed with Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Do you notice which stone takes the center stage? It's not the yeah. turquoise. No, no. It's not the diamonds. It's the mandarin oh. garnet. I didn't even notice there were diamonds there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, it is all about that mandarin garnet. We are talking extreme rarity. And frankly, Laura, that's ridiculous. What's on that sheet? It shouldn't be that price for one of the small ones. We have 174 of these, bear with us. If you're having issues on the web, then make sure you dial our free phone telephone number. I don't want you to miss out on this opportunity. Okay, the web is working, there we are, fantastic. Let me just pick some of these up. I'm just gonna take off my engagement ring. So my eternity ring. I'm just gonna use this round brilliant cut. Ooh. I'm going to show you something. Oh. Wow. Adam, have you seen what we're taking these to? <laughs> have you seen now? Can you believe that? Graphics are about to appear. One for the collectors and the connoisseurs. Completely and utterly natural. So rare that we get the chance to offer you mandarin garnet. This color is not enhanced, it's not treated, it's not filled, it's not dyed. Um, the beautiful golden sunset variety of the garnet family. It, it, it's one for the collectors and the connoisseurs. Even over in Tucson, I hardly saw any mandarin garnet. I saw demantoid, I saw zavarites, yeah. I saw color change. Mm -hmm. I didn't see mandarin garnet over there. Um, and if I had, I would have actually been buy, uh, buying some too. Do you know, it's, it, it's interesting, because you know I said about how the yield got less, the deeper and deeper and deeper that the miners actually had to dig. Um, those locations were actually a closely guarded secret. I can remember a parcel that Steve Bennett, our uh, former founder, um, actually secured of Mandarin Garnet, and it was uh, him and a friend, and they literally kept it secret. Wow. The reason why they didn't want to reveal that location is because it would have been literally mined out almost overnight. 51 seconds, the clock is ticking away, and we've already got people dialing through. You're not just getting one. What was that? You're not just getting one, you're getting an entire parcel, almost three carats of natural mandarin garnet. Do you know, even if you're not necessarily a gemstone setter, um, if you've not maybe stepped into that medium as of yet, these chances won't come around every single day. I can say that with complete you know, uh, confirmation, really. Because I think, hopefully, today's, will, uh, today's early bird will be an on-screen sellout. If I was to speak to our gemstone buyer, uh, Wayne, can we get some more mandarin garnet? I can almost predict what the answer is going to be. In eight seconds, this is going ridiculously low. Um, if you can shop with us on the web and on the phone line, uh, on the web and on the app, because there won't be any queues, people are already multi buying. That is really savvy shopping. Twelve pounds oh. and ninety nine pence only wow. for mandarin garnet. So. That's not just one, that's the entire parcel that you're seeing here. 12 pounds and 99 wow. pence only. It, it, uh, you, know, you know, we talk about, we talk about, we talk about gemstones, you know, what qualifies gemstone as a gemstone? Well, in accordance to the GIA, is it, is it rare? Is it durable and is it beautiful? Um, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Mm. But particularly the beautiful. This is, has to be one of the most 
beautiful gemstones that physically exist and it's all natural all natural wow it's not our price though oh gosh <laughs> I genuinely, do, I, genu I genuinely don't know how we're doing this. Um, if you can, if you can, get two or three. If you can, get four or five. And I'm saying that because this is a gemstone that it will probably be, I don't know, a year, two years, never say never, but we don't get very often. Our sister channel, very, very, very rarely, I'm going to show these to Toby later, very rarely get the opportunity to bring Mandarin garnet in a collection or, uh, you know, a line of jewellery. That is not your price, believe it or not, but it should be, and it should be much, much, much higher than that price tag. If you got your jade, can you imagine a Mandarin garnet oh. nestled into a jade? Oh, yeah. One of the donuts. How beautiful that would be. In fact... Well, well, didn't Pillar and Stone actually do that? Didn't they have a mandarin garnet set into an imperial jadeite? Frankly ridiculous. <laughs> £7.99. <laughs> I can only laugh. I genuinely can only laugh. It's a nervous <laughs> laugh, though. Are you sure, Laura? I mean, we've done it now, but... Are you absolutely sure that's what it was meant to be? Wow. Am I making you nervous now? Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> Durable. This is now you are. And you can certainly see why it's called Mandarin Garnet, can't you? I mean, oh, the colour is so, is so bright and almost juicy, isn't it? Oh, it's <laughs> I love this gemstone. I don't blame you for buying five. Well done, Alison. I don't blame you. I would too. Seriously, look at that. That's a, just a different stone for me to show you. And that's in studio lighting. Put this in natural light where you're going to really start seeing those flame reds and all that refraction. Surrey's bought two, Linda's bought two, Angela's bought two, Christina's bought two, Shan's bought two, Alison's bought five, Wendy's bought two, uh, uh, Janet's bought three, uh, Deb, I can't keep up with you, Angela's bought three, Debbie's bought three, well done, hello Angela, lovely to be with you this morning, morning James, sitting, knotting an opera length pearl necklace um, as a present, uh, and you keep stopping me, <laughs> I'm so sorry, yeah but look at what you've got though Angela, you've just got mandarin garnet for £7.99, do you see why I laughed? Yeah, yeah, can you imagine Ange if we just go, Ange, Ange, throughout the course of the morning show. Should we do that? You're like that, no, don't. Please don't. Ange, look, look what we got, Ange. She'll be hating me come the end of the day if I do that, though. And I, can, I hope you send a photograph into the Wall of Fame. Seven, uh, what? Wow. Okay. I'm not surprised. I am not surprised, but that should be an entire sellout. Because I know, let me just read this to you again. You can read along with me if you, if you, if you can understand my scrawly handwriting. I, I really, I could count on one hand, look at the terrible state of my book. Um, I could count on one hand the amount of times that I actually get to read this page because of the rarity of the gemstone. An extremely rare variety of orange garnet, often referred to as mandarin garnet for its vivid colour. The combination of vivid colours and very, very high refraction makes this gemstone a true miracle of beauty. Vivid orange and deep hues are most valuable, which is definitely what you have here, uh, especially when seen with clarity and size. Would you all agree? Um, I love it. Fiery comet-like appearance. Mandarins first... Uh, Stop shouting and there's lots of Angers messaging in there. Sorry about that. Seven ninety nine. And like I said, if you go back to that Harry Winston beautiful, beautiful ring, it's Sleeping Beauty Turquoise that frames the Mandarin Garnet. Can compare the quality of the colour. If I pick one of these up again, I'll pick this one up just to show I'm showing you all of them. Here we go. If we were to pick, compare the quality of the stones. Yeah? Compare the quality of the stones, £7.99. Uh, yeah, the Harry Winston ring would definitely not be anywhere near. I mean, pff, what? Maybe for a claw. I've got no idea what the price is, but it would be very expensive. Um, even the diamonds are in the shadows of the Mandarin Garnet. Mandy, Yvonne, Enid, Margaret, Beatrice, hello to you, Surrey, Linda, uh, Laura. You need to check out your baskets. I had a big quantity. Um, however, 
everybody everybody is is choosing twos and threes and that's exactly what i would be doing as well absolutely dazzling beauty aren't they jean lynn suzanne sandra michelle Rhonda, jane tracy sorry jacqueline new customer karen manchester florence you have to check out if you if you don't you very you stand a very real chance of missing out can we just show that call screen um just quickly sorry yeah, just to show how the rows upon rows of names that are already there. Um, so people actually getting twos and threes of these opportunities. Now, don't blame you if you can. Treat yourself. You won't look back on this. Off. I know it's kind of on a funny, it's on a funny angle, isn't it? But you can see it. You can see it on this side yeah. of the screen. Um, on this side of the screen, you've actually got those of you that have co uh, confirmed. Well done, Beatrice, Rhonda, Enid. You can see the, the multi-buyers as well. Uh, and you do go off the bottom of the screen as well. If you're on the other side of the screen, it means you haven't yet confirmed. So good luck. Marie, good luck to you. Christine, good luck to you. Lynn, good luck to you. Suzanne, good luck to you. Make sure you check out those baskets, as you can see. Maker wants four. Karen wants three. That that quantity is not going to hang around it's not going to hang around so make sure you check out i'll leave it with you um okay now let's do those slider bracelets okay now these are um slider bracelets pandora style bracelets yeah. um but those of you that have been asking for the larger size of bracelet this is going to be absolutely perfect for you because yeah. they are um, a longer length coming up beautiful silver plated base metal uh, pandora inspired set of three as a star buy Okay, now, um, if you've ever been into, into Pandora and you've looked at their, the main bracelet, so the idea is you buy the bracelet and then obviously you gather and collect the charms thereafter. Yeah. So these are very much inspired um, by uh, the Pandora brand. And I love that. I think that, you know, Pandora is so successful. You know, if, if you ever walk past, let's say, Mother's Day or Christmas yeah. or things like that, it's always busy. Um, but it's this kind of style, isn't it? That really beautiful, almost snake-like chain. So you get wonderful, wonderful fluidity. Um, but we have, uh, we've had a bit of feedback recently and a few of our customers said, you want the larger sizes. Well, this is perfect for you. So if you want the larger size bracelet, this is absolutely the chance for you to get involved in. Um, so basically, you have that clasp that literally flips open, the lid flips open. Um, and I'll do it right now. Hang on. There we go. Flits open like so, you pop it in like so, and literally clip it back together like so. There we go. And then you feed all of your lovely charms. Um, I know that you do uh, sort of like seed beads, like beady beads. Yeah. yeah. They would feed like on there as well. Go on there. Yeah, you can make um, sort of like cube beads with, uh, with delicas, uh -huh. that sort of thing. So, yeah, you can. You don't have to buy ready-made beads. You can make your own to go in there. You can yeah. use polymer clay even. Oh, yeah, that's a good yes. idea. That's a really good idea. Um, and I think there might be something in the pipeline. Don't hold me to it mm -hmm. of, on polymer clay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, something in the pipeline. So maybe get these ahead. Um, but yeah, these are the larger sizes. So if you take more of a um, sort of an eight inch or a nine inch, then this is going to be more appropriate for you. Yeah. Um, but that being said, your jewelry makers, I know you can customize things fantastically. We said it, we've discussed maybe anklets as well. Yes. But also don't forget, once you put your beads on there, because they're quite chunky beads True. usually, it does become smaller space for your for your that's hands. very true so it's good to have a bigger bracelet because um sometimes you get the bracelet on its own and it fits fine but by the time you fill it up with chunky beads then it good doesn't point. fit mm. that's a really good point i've not thought about that because they've obviously got a girth as well yeah. haven't they yeah. yeah um perfect now you are <laughs> you are getting all three um, all three of them as well. Star by the graphics are already on your screen. So these are brand new. No, they've never been on your screens before. You could link them all together, actually. Yeah. And almost create a necklace. Oh, yeah. 
Oh. Something a bit different. Yes. And then you can, when you're feeling different, you can take them apart and wear them as bracelets. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think uh, Swarovski actually did that. They had a, a, a collection. Swarovski, and these aren't Swarovski, obviously. I'm just using, I'm just remembering a collection that they did a few Christmases ago. Um, it was pre-lockdowns. Um, but basically, so you buy one bracelet. Yeah. Um, and then you can actually buy more that would then turn it into a necklace. Yeah. Um, because they literally connected together. Yeah. So, um, absolutely. Absolutely, you could use these for that. Uh, use these in the same way. Um, okay, so the quantity that we actually have available of these are only eighty-three. Again, those of you that want to have the bigger size bracelets, um, this will be absolutely perfect because you can see on the graphics nine inches. Uh, however, Monica raises a very good point. If you actually start putting things like your charms yeah. on there, you know your Pandora charms, then obviously that's going to narrow it down somewhat. It is, yeah, especially if you fill it up because. Um, you don't always fill it up, but if you fill it up all the way around with your, your charm beads, essentially. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of them are sort of 20 millimetres. Yeah. So, um, yeah, they can be really big. So it's gonna, that's going to scale it down. It, it is, yeah. in almost. Yeah. Are you ready? Already people multi-buying on these. Wonderful. Well done. Frankly, again... Silver plated, they are precious metal plated, and you do get three of them six pounds and 79 pence only. Just, just over two pounds each. Yeah, <laughs> wow. And they are silver plated too. If you sold these on your stand, and it's nice to, you know, you, uh, some people take a seven inch, some people take eight, nine, yeah. so being able to offer that, uh, to offer that. Uh, um, sort of uh, uh, variety as well, which is wonderful. Um, these are nine inches in their actual size, but again, if you, I like them as they are. I would actually literally wear it as it is. Yep. yep. But if you want to obviously put then your carrier charms on there as well, um, that's up to you. Loads of you getting involved. Denise, G uh, Jean, Debbie, Mandy, Patricia, Janet, Lynette, Carol, Angela, Elizabeth, Christine, well done. I only had 83 of these available. Yeah. Really good, really good point. That's literally a couple of pounds each. It's just crazy, isn't it? Um, yeah, very much Pandora inspired. But to be fair, there's a few a few different designers that actually have um, have this that mechanism. So basically, you you pop the one side in. Here it is. You pop that. There you go. It lifts out. Literally pop it in just there and click it shut. I like the idea of joining them together. Yeah. But loads of charms, and they would almost work as little separators then, wouldn't they? Yep. I think they call them spacers in Pandora. Yes, but you could also um, you could also fill them up uh, sort of like a bubble style, where yeah. you know where you, where you put a bead on a on a headpin and then roll down the headpin. You just need to make sure that the the loop is big enough for the um, the clasp end to go through, so the thinner end of the clasp, and then you could fill it up with your own sort of bubble style looking. Yeah. Um, Beads. Absolutely. Yeah. Hello, Alison. Nice to hear from you this morning. Alison is saying uh, you could cover this break, yes. bracelet in Mark Smith's Kiss Cross. Oh, yes. That's a great idea. Yep. Great idea. Or in any of your tubular stitches, really, because it, it creates a nice ending for them, and I think, and a nice clasp for your tubular beading stitches. Yeah, absolutely. Anklets. Lots of you are suggesting about anklets here. Um, here we go. Ah, oh, look at that. She's making jewellery. <laughs> and that probably goes over your head, doesn't it? I'm yeah. Gonna, I, well, yeah. 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 Literally over the top of the head. There you go. So you could almost turn it into a necklace as well if you wanted to. Um, loads of you there. Small cues on the phone lines. About 30 seconds. Not too bad. They are three bracelets, obviously, but just showing you can actually connect them all together. That, that I'm taking inspiration from Swarovski because they did yeah. that. Um, yeah, these are flying out the door. There is a queue. I can see you there, though. Maker, uh, Pauline, Aloma, Pat, Maker. Another Pat, uh, well, into new customer. Derbyshire, Esther, new customer, Sandra. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Don't abandon those calls. And well done to every single one of you. Um, OK, what did you say? A chain bundle. Do you mean these bracelets? Oh, wow, I love these. Absolutely love these. I'm going to hold them that way around. So these are, yeah, your bracelet chains, and you get three different styles of links. I actually bought these. Um, and I've already given a couple of them away as, as nice gifts. So you've got 
uh, your gorgeous, very Gucci-esque inspired paper link chain. You've got a classic belcher and then you have your um, your oval or rollo, as it also goes by. Now, these are 925 sterling silver, um, measuring 20 centimetres. You're looking over five grams of precious metal across uh, across the three designs. And, and, and Monica, you know, as, a, as one of our amazing designers, do you sometimes favour particular links? I favour the ones with the with the bigger links, which all of these have got the bigger links, mm -hmm. because um, especially if you have a, a lobster clasp like these ones have, it almost means you can change the length of them. True, yeah, they're more uh, adjustable. So, you know, if you find that uh, it's too long, you just have to close the, the clasp into a link that's further along. So. Mm. Yeah, literally just move it along. Yeah. Plus and also, also put things like your charms. Exactly, in. anything you want to add to it, obviously the bigger links are, are always better for Much that. easier. Yeah. We have only 20 of these available, though. Um, so if it's sat in your baskets, make sure you check them out. There's only 20. Precious 925 sterling silver. All three of your bracelets. Massive closeout deal. I mean, seriously, that's, uh, that's working out at what? Six pounds and 66 pence per sterling silver bracelet. <laughs> Try and find any other location that can bring you the equivalent carat weight. Oh, sorry, gram weight. They're, they're averaging 1.7 per bracelet. You try and find anywhere else that can offer it to you at that kind of price point. Even if you look at places like John Lewis and, and, and sorry, um, Samuels or, or uh, Argos even. I don't think you're going to find the equivalent gram weight, certainly not necessarily the equivalent quality, at £6.66 pence each. I think this is beyond wholesale. Would we all agree? Yeah. And I mean, these are your, your, your <coughs> staples, just like the, the necklace chains are. It's something that you always need to have in your, in your stash, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think every show is that, Adam. Adam was saying that you know, we could do an hour, couldn't we, beyond wholesale? I think every every hour here at Jewelry Maker is that. Uh, Nine ninety nine, Caroline Jean, hello to you, Lincolnshire, Lynette, Janet, Avon, Suzanne, Carol, another Suzanne, Doreen, a new customer. I can see you on those phone lines, so do stay where you are. Um, our amazing UK-based contact centre will be with you imminently. I promise you. Nineteen ninety nine for precious, precious nine two five sterling silver. Things like charms, your pendants. Yeah. Yeah. Chips and nuggets. Oh, yes, chips and nuggets. You could do the chips and nuggets. You could do a bubble style uh, with your chips and nuggets as well. There's no reason you can't do that. Oh, yeah. Use it with the 9 o'clock and also the uh, 11 o'clock kits. Yes. There is a queue on the phone lines. Bear with us. They will get you. Please don't abandon those calls. We've got another little sneaky early bird. I don't even know what this is. Oh, yes, I do. I do know what it is. Brand new, premiering today. You've got this beautiful, beautiful crochet over the top of the head again. So those people that don't or maybe have allergies to precious metals, um, then perfect for you. Neon Appetite, you have this. We spoke about textures, Monica. Yes. This is what we're talking about. Yeah. And also because it's wearable, you know, it's it's... You can wear it during the day, you can wear it in the evening. It's just, I love chips, to be honest with you. I really do. Me yeah. too. And I know that lots of you could create this, but I don't think you'd be able to create it when you factor in your time mm. at what we are about to do. It's a brand new premiere, a little teaser ahead of your 11 o'clock amazing uh, showcase with Toby Cavill. Neon Appetite is a beautiful uh, or colour, variety of appetite um, that is renowned for having the most electrifying um, neon blue. It's rare. And remember, size matters when it comes to this gemstone, um, as finding large carat weights can be incredibly, incredibly rare and expensive. You're about to source 370 carats in this beautiful nugget 360 is literally 360 degrees all the way around, so you can literally pop it over the top of the he head if you wanted to. Um, and again, I know lots of you can actually make this, but I don't think you're going to be able to make it uh, when you factor in your, your, your own time at what we're about to do. But even then, Monica, there's, what, there's opportunities for me to go on and embellish this and of make course. it unique. Of course, yes, and especially if you have a pendant or something like that that you want to put on something a bit more chunky. 
you know, yeah. you, and you don't want to spend time on the necklace, you just want to focus on the pendant, then it's all done for you there. Yeah. But actually, I, I also wonder if you can wrap it around your wrist two or three times and make it into a bracelet. Well. Yes. There you go. Gently does it, Al. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's perfect. Wrapped around the wrist. Absolutely perfect. £9.79. pence. And you don't even have to bother with the clasp. No. Mm. For the, for three hundred and seventy carats. If you got if you if, you know for the carat wow. weight alone, if you wanted to get this home and deconstruct it, that's entirely up to you. But you could almost sew into this, couldn't you? Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. Because it's quite loose. Them. It's not a very tight no um, weave. So there's, that's why it's got so much movement to it as well. So. Yeah, fluidity. Look at that. Amazing. Um, I'm imagining one of your lovely sort of mandala uh, pendants at yes. the bottom. Again, using your fire line or your wildfire, literally yeah. just sewing it on. Exactly, like a, if you have a, a bezeled cabochon with some neon appetite around the edge or mm. something like that. Mm. That would be lovely. Well, if you love neon appetite, we have just the showcase for you as well today um, at 11 o'clock. So make sure, make sure you're with me. Nine pounds and 79 pence. Marilyn, Janet, Johnny, Lorraine, Diane, Beatrice, Carol, Anne-Marie, Karen, Barbara. Um, hello to you, Alison, you're there as well. Christine, people multi-buying on this. Johnny, you're getting two, well done. Uh, Flincher, congratulations to you. It is busy, busy, busy this morning. Um, lots of lovely new customers joining us as well. So welcome to the wonderful land of Jewelry Maker. Um, stay with us though, because we've also got, it's nugget day here at Jewelry Maker. Now, it doesn't mean that we're gonna be sat eating chicken nuggets. <laughs> well, we might, you know. <laughs> <laughs> although, although, apparently the gallery are going to uh, uh, put the idea to our manager that he brings in nuggets. Yes, fair enough, yeah. I think you should. Do nuggets also include those vegetable ones? Because they're nice. Vegetable dippers. <laughs> okay. No, not can the we, carrot stick. Can we upgrade to... Can we upgrade to goujons? Goujons, yes. <laughs> but we don't have nuggets. We work. Because it's goujon day. No, it's not. It's all about the gemstones. Um, it's all about your beautiful gemstones. So that includes the kits that are coming up in at Monica's nine o'clock hours. Stay where you are. Make sure you check out your baskets. Don't go anywhere, though, jewelry makers, because full of inspiration and demonstrations coming your way after this. <laughs> Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. This coming Monday looks absolutely incredible. Why? Because it's Nugget Day. Join Monica for her nine o'clock kits where it's buy three, get one free. And your deal of the day, oh my word, a strand of Moldavite nuggets. And another huge thing that's happening that day, we are going to be giving away a thousand inches. That's right, a thousand inches of nuggets. You need to head to our Facebook page from eight o'clock on Monday to find out how to enter. But take a look at these. We've got turquoise, we've got carnelian. Oh, so many inches. Look at all of these. There's some Larimar in here. Literally inches for miles. It's gonna be absolutely superb. Nuggets, nuggets, nuggets. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide, this will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. 
You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option two. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of eight till five. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, Jewelry Makers. Lovely to be with you this morning. My name is Ellen and I'm joined with the fantastic Monica. Yay. Hi. There she is. <laughs> she. We were just talking about almond milk because, bless Danny, he's just made me a cup of tea and I am a proper bog standard cup of tea. And I yeah. was like, <laughs> had this funny taste. And he was like, oh, sorry, Al, yeah, we haven't got any milk, so you had to have almond milk. Well, Isn't it odd? Well, you know, not all almond milk is created equal. Okay. Because if you get it in some places, oh. they, put that, they put that funny almond essence in it, which is horrible. But most places where if, if you buy it, it doesn't really taste of anything. It doesn't taste of almond milk. So you can't really tell the difference in the flavour. There was definite it's, essence. Yeah, I don't like the ones with the essence. Nutty milk. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> you like nutty milk? Oh, yeah. Adam loves the nut milk. Do you? <laughs> Do you? No, just get out of the cows. Fine, it's absolutely fine. I was like, I just have a black coffee. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, we I've just learned something from Carol. Three for two on your kits. Yeah. We've literally yeah. just learned learned this. Uh, you know, as Carol was talking to us just then, lovely Carol with all of her lovely nuggets. <laughs> so if you buy two kits, you get the third for free. Um, so have a little look on the website, it's all set up on there, or speak to our call centre. Um, have we ever done three for two on kits before? I don't think so, we've talked about it because we always thought it would be a good idea to do, so I'm yeah. glad it's, it's finally here. I think there's quite <laughs> a lot of administration, um, mm, things like that. Anyway, yeah. it's, it, it's happening, three for two on your amazing kits, and I'm going to put a little price promise out there. They're all under 20. That's right, isn't it? Whew. Yes, they are all under £20. After I've just said that, I'm going to start with emeralds. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't quite sound right. I know, it? <laughs> it, it, it doesn't sound at all right. Look at all of these. Now, that's, that's all emerald. Absolutely no. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to take you out. So these are described as the small nuggets. They're not that small. Well. You can literally, that's the coat or emerald, literally wear it like yeah. this. No yeah. oiling, completely and utterly natural. So Kota Emerald, which again, our sister channel actually have um, on their screens in various uh, sort of collections. Then 
more emeralds. Oh my goodness me. Le Jardin, you've got that beautiful, beautiful color intensity. This is Brazilian. This is Sakota. I have to tell you, actually, the Brazilian emerald is so good that it actually is, you know, well, it's not, it's not in the shadows, is it? Um, for the color intensity that you're seeing in your Sakota. In total, you are looking at 490, 500. And 10 carats of emerald. Wow. It took me far too long to do that math. <laughs> um, 510 carats of natural emerald. Because on our graphics, you know where it says O? Oh, that's the Brazilian emerald. That's still only like us putting moisturiser on in the morning. It doesn't make a huge, it doesn't make a difference really um, to the overall appearance. It just brings you a, a, a more of a luminosity. Still not done because you have your two millimetre spacer beads. There's a pack of 50 within there. Um, just to give you little little pops of punctuation and luster. Still not done because you've got um, your two reels of wire. Uh, these are your 0.8 and also your 0.4 in your silver plated copper wire there as well. We're going back to our roots here, Monica, aren't we? Yes, yes. I mean, Which I love. It's, it's, yeah, it's an old school kit, isn't it? Yeah. Which is brilliant. Yeah. One that's just going to go yeah. so far. Nuggets of wisdom. Yeah. Have you got any nuggets of wisdom? Oh, they get better. <laughs> Can I just say the kit names do get better as well. Uh, we've already had a little, uh, little, little, little stinger at some of the kit names today. Um, nug have you got any nuggets of wisdom? Um, I do actually. Well, actually, I left my ear one of my earrings on the table there. If somebody can pass them. Oh yes, we can get those. The green ones on can the we table. Just grab the earrings, Dan. Oh, he's making me coffee. Hang on a minute. One of us will get. Oh. Just yeah. those green ones in the middle. Thank you. Yeah. Just those. Just those. Lovely. Because I quite like this idea where I put, um, I, glued the little, the, I glued the beads onto the <gasps> coil. That's my favourite piece I made today. <laughs> they're cool. Well, like, they're really I don't know cool. You can see it. On, uh, you, yeah, yeah, you've got your two mil beads. Beads. Orbiting. That's your nugget of wisdom. Yes, and then I thought actually that would be really nice for to make like a little Christmas tree as well if you put yes. gold and. Upsize it. Yeah. Well, well, no, that. I didn't mean that big in a room size, but, but <laughs> Christmas tree earrings. Christmas tree earrings, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they could be a little baubles, couldn't they? Remember, it's three for two on your kits. Um, so uh, there's basically four kits for you, to, for you to choose from. Three for two. Each of the kits are going to be under £20 as well. OK, let's do a 60-second clock. That's when the graphics are already ready um, are on your screens. I've given you a price promise. You know that it's going under £20. Um, yeah, we're not going to mess around. That is 510 carats of natural emerald. Nuggets of wisdom. Nuggets of wisdom. I love it. That's I love not, it. That's not really a nugget of wisdom, is it? An earring. They are. <laughs> are they? I, okay. I've never seen that being done before. <laughs> What's your yeah? Text in. What's your nugget of wisdom? If you were to, to if you were to chat to your younger self, what would you say? Oh yeah, I like that conversation. What would you say to your younger Ooh. self? Mm. Go for it more, says Adam. Yeah. Yeah, don't str don't stress the small stuff would be mine. Don't, don't stress so much about what other people think. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Don't sweat the small stuff. Um, yeah. Keep your circle small. That's that another Sorry? one. Keep your circle small. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Lots of nuggets of wisdom being bounced around here. It's <laughs> pence. Three for two on your kids. Um, oh, here's a nugget of wisdom. Get three kids. <laughs> Get Three kits for the price of two. Exactly. Like Cheryl, like Alison, like Johnny, like Elaine, like Sheila, like Cheshire, Sarah and Susan, Mary and Jerry, nice to be with you as well. And um, we've got some lovely colours across the kits as well, which will work perfectly together, like Peridot with your um uh with your with your emeralds and also the garnets. And I'm guessing it doesn't have to be three of the same kit. No. Yeah, any of the kits. No, you can mix them up. Oh, you can be. mix them up for sure. <clears throat> we can see you on the phone lines as well. It's quite busy today. So do bear with our call centre. They will get to you. Elaine's bought three of this kit. She's like, I'm all about the emerald. Well done, Elaine. Um, so that means, Elaine, you've got 1,530 carats yeah. um, coming to you. Don't worry about things you can't change. Yeah, Absolutely, definitely. says yeah. Amanda. There's a nugget of wisdom. 
I love how this this texting topic, by the way, is going to get so interesting <laughs> as the kits move on because there's some really funny names oh, of okay. kits. Don't worry about things you can't change. Absolutely. I think just generally don't worry. As a younger person, you worry yeah. a lot, don't yeah. you? Yes, I found after I turned 40, I, I Me too. stopped worrying about stuff so much. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, yeah, sorry, well, we just had, we just had uh, one nugget of wisdom, but we can't share it, unfortunately. It's not broadcast safe. Um, <laughs> 17 pounds and 99 pence. Nugget of wisdom, just because you can, doesn't mean you should. Yeah. Yes. That was a good one, yeah, yeah. I love that one, Patsy. <laughs> I love that one. Yes, absolutely. Oh, here's another text topic. What? What did you do because you could, but you shouldn't have? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's probably a few things I did in my youth. In my youth, there was probably a few things. Yeah, I think we all... all yeah, all we, you there. go through that phase, don't you? You go through that phase. <laughs> and always say sorry. There you go. Always yeah, yeah. say sorry. If you're in the wrong, say sorry. Um, okay, let's do the picture, Jasper and Perido. Three for two on kits. Ooh, ooh. Uh, what's this kit called? A pocket... <laughs> Next in topic, a pocket <laughs> full of nuggets. <laughs> pocket full of nuggets. Have you ever had a pocket full of nuggets? I don't often wear clothes with pockets, so. No, me neither. <laughs> Probably not, but. Me neither. <laughs> Here we go. Picture Jasper. Oh, I, love Jasper. I do as well. It's those wonderful earthy colours. And to compliment, oh. you had this kit, didn't you, Monica? I did, yes. It's your Peridot. Two natural, gorgeous, genuine gemstones. Um, so your picture, Jasper, you're looking at 320 carats. The Peridot, you've got 80. Um, this is bare copper as well, so uh, um, in your 0.4. Um, and then you have 10 metres of your rose gold coloured 0.8. You've also got your 3 millimetre pack of 50, 3 millimetre spacer beads. Three for two on kits. Love it. Pocket full of nuggets. <laughs> Pocket full of nuggets. Love it. Absolutely love it. These beautiful colours. Again, they would work alongside the emeralds that you saw a while ago. Um, and, well, a moment ago, actually. Um, take a little look at Monica's beautiful designs. Is this just classic beading with, your, you know, your necklaces? It is, it is. I mean, the, the twisted ones, um, because you get the two lots of wire in the kit, obviously you can use your 0.8 wire to make all the cones, which is what I'm going to show you in a little bit how to do. Um, and then you use the thinner wire, so that would be on the green necklace mm -hmm. and on this one here. So these two, where I've twisted them together, um, you thread it onto the, onto the wire, mm. which I'll also show you in a second. Uh, I'll, I'll show you how to do a bracelet quickly. Um, because then when you twist it, it stays twisted. Yeah. So you can thread it onto, the third necklace is threaded onto beading thread, or well, the beading wire that, that we normally get in the, in the kits and things. Um, but that one, the twist will come undone if you wear it. So if you want that twist to hold, yeah. these kits are perfect because yeah. you've got the 0.4, 0 .4 wire. Point four wire, exactly. Sixteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Don't forget, three wow. for two on your kit. So, um, for example, if you've got that last kit and this kit, you get the next one free. Fairly obvious, isn't wow. it? Um, and we've got some lovely gemstones coming up in the next ones. Malachite and black spinel. Oh, Ooh, I love this next kit. Absolutely beautiful. Malachite, we know how expensive malachite is. Are we doing that now, did you say, Laura? Yeah, we're gonna go dive straight into it. Now, the price of the kit is the price of the malachite strand for me, because wow. malachite is not, it's not an inexpensive gemstone. No. As I mentioned it earlier on, the likes of uh, um, Van Cleef and Arpels work with it, the likes of Dolce & Gabbana work with it, the likes of Chopard. Uh, um, Piaget, all of the biggest brands are all working with this beautiful natural gemstone. Uh, Malachite has these wonderful concentric bands, these wonderful florets, if you like, of how the gemstone actually creates. You get, you can almost follow each chapter within the gemstone's journey. You're looking at 620 carats of Malachite. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, that for me, the price of the kit, 
I'm more than happy if I just got yes, this. Absolutely. But you don't just get that, because you also have black spinel. 240 oh. carats of black spinel. Look at the texture, it's almost liquid-like, oh. isn't it? Known for its amazing luster. Um, so again, strand length, you've got uh, 34 inches on your black spinel. Um, and malachite, you're looking at 100 inches. So there's a lot. Wow. Then you have your bare copper in your 0.8 and your point four. Wait a minute, this kit's going to fly. Yeah, I mean, those two colours together, the green and the black, oh, they're just really... The fact they're bare copper as well. And the bare copper, yeah, of course. Because bare copper, well, nat... Okay, yeah, copper is present within malachite as well. Still not done because you also have your... Um, you also have your two millimeter stones. Let me just confirm. It says buy three, get one free. So you basically, it's three for two. Sorry, yeah, that's really confusing, isn't it? Three for two. Can we change it, Laura? Yeah, it's it's you you buy two and you get one three uh, one for free. So three for the price of two. It, it, it is quite confusing, to be fair. Um, Sixteen pounds and ninety nine pence only. <clears throat> For Malachite alone, that's an amazing price point. How many do I have of this kit? 87. I knew it was going to be the most popular. I knew it was going to be the most popular for a number of reasons. Malachite, mm -hmm. spinel, mm -hmm. bare copper. Yeah, and that's it. <laughs> that's, that's, that, that's it. That's it. This is the, uh, this is the kit, really. It, well, Malachite and bare copper is just dreary together because they're literally yeah. found in Mother Nature alongside one another. Natural black spinel. Well, when do oh. we see that? How often do we see black spinel? Uh, not, not that often, especially in nuggets. I don't think I've seen it in nuggets. No. Other than nuggets. We might have, but I haven't seen it. And then you have your two millimetre bare, uh, bare copper spaces as well. Make sure you check out your baskets. So if you wanted, you can have the three kits in this. If you wanted it to, it, you know, you're basically paying for two kits, which is what? That's working out at £34. Um, but you'll get three of the kits sent through. Speak to our contact centre. Um, or um, it's all set up on our website as well. Make sure you do check out Beatrice, Jeff, hello to Alison, Gabrielle, Mary and Jerry, Ted, Lisa, Julianne, Karen, Alison in Bristol. You actually go off the bottom of the screen now, so I can't see some of your names. Karen, Helen, Nita, Bristol, Helen, Eileen, Beatrice, good luck. I love this next kit too. Which one's this called? <laughs> 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 I got it does sound love nuggets <laughs> it says more about me though doesn't it actually that <laughs> the fact I'm smirking um, as my mum used to say it's not the mouth it comes out of it's the mind it goes into Eleanor <laughs> okay there's your wire. Silver plated 0.4. Silver plated 0.8. Again, the most popular colour of wire. Bar yes. none. Yes. Always. And the two most popular gauges. Then you have a pack of 50 three millimeter silver plated spacers. I think Love Nuggets is going to be very popular. <laughs> Then, mookite, natural mookite. Look at these beautiful colours from your crimson reds to your ochres. Loving, loving, loving that strand. Yeah, it's Australia, not Austria. <laughs> Can we get that changed? That's fairly important. There we go. Natural garnet, 100 inches. Beautiful. I think it's a drop-down box and they must be situated alongside one another. But yeah, it is obviously Australia. Um, both natural stones. Oh, this, again, very, very, very popular. I love this kit. It's the most limited, sadly, though. Um, okay. For love nuggets. I love it for the name as well. <laughs> um, yeah. 
Love nuggets, pocket full of nuggets, nuggets of wisdom. What was the other one? Pick of the nuggets. Pick of the nuggets. Fifteen pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Wow. It's gone crazy. Don't forget three for two on your kits. Um, so you buy two and you get the third one for free, basically. It's all set up on the website or speak to our contact centre as well. Hello to you, Ayrshire, Gabrielle, uh, Jackie, Alison, Lincolnshire, Lynn, hello to you, uh, Cheryl, Mary and Jerry, Michael, Alison, Chrissy, uh, Lisa, Janet, Jane, Jane in Cumbria, Jane in Nottinghamshire, Alan in Lanarkshire, Sheila, Julianne, Angela, Bristol, um, Sheila. Make sure you check out, though, because it's the most limited. How many is limited then, Laura? Oh, 20 left. Oh. It's gonna, this is going to be a sellout for sure. 100%. It's just down to the fact of will you be within that 20? Over half the stock of the Malachite. Oh, we're actually very limited on the Malachite now, so I would definitely make sure you secure that. They've been the most popular. Let's not forget you've also got 500. What was it? 520 carats of, of, of emerald as well? Yes. You know, that's three for two. I tell you what, huge carat weight. Mm. And this is the joy of nuggets. You get so much. And what is a nugget? A nugget, it's, it's either something that has literally been mined, unearthed from the ground as such, and then literally polished and drilled, um, or um, chips are basically something that's been cut off mm. um, a gemstone. Both of those actually bring you... So this was actually unearthed, like so. Yeah. They were unearthed, like yeah. so. And I mean, those long nuggets, again, they're so easy to use. You just have to restrain them. Yeah. And you've got interest there, you've got colour there, and you've got a very wearable piece of jewellery again. Totally. Just nice combination clasp as well, isn't it? Yeah. Or you can put a clasp on the end, isn't it? Yeah. Or you can put a, a fancy clasp on it and then wear the clasp on the side. So, you know, and it's just basically just restranding them, and that's it. Beautiful. Monica didn't get this kit because um, it's limited. So, um, but I think you can take all of the inspiration from uh, from your lovely designs. Monica, take yes. it away. The love of nuggets. Right. So, I believe we've got the Contastic tool. Yes. We're going um, to bring in the graphics to air for the Contastic. Right. Okay. So, I wanted to show you. Uh, how to use it basically um, it's a really clever piece of of kit because um oh, which, no, i'll show you this bracelet here okay so um obviously we used to have the wags y cone which you would use to make just a little cone like that okay but i've, I've been thinking for a while that i wanted to make this sort of a cone where hmm. it goes from larger to smaller and then larger again and i couldn't figure out how to do it and then along came the contastic tool which happens to have a mandrel in it just for that purpose so that's very handy. Yes, yes, these are the hourglass ones. Right, so when you get your tool, okay, so you open another packet like that. It's got printed instructions in the tool there as well, but also there's a QR code on the back, so if you scan that, you can go into their website and it shows you full instructions on there as well, how to use it. And then the bottom of it opens up and you get your mandrels in the back. Now, these are your standard uh, cone mandrels that come with it in the back, okay? Plus you get your little tool here, which is what you're gonna use to change the mandrels in there. Of course, it's one of those where once you get it out, it's hard to get it back in, but you have to put them in the right order. <laughs> I'll just leave them out for now. So, you twist the bottom back on. You don't have to, you can use it without the bottom twisted on. But then you have this little tool here. Now this is what you use, I think it's called a, a hex key, is what you use to um, attach your mandrels to the end. Okay, so you just need to unscrew the screw with it. It doesn't have to come out all the way, just a little way. And then you pick your mandrels. Now, these mandrels here are the ones that are the hourglass ones. So you get two different sizes in there. So you get a really large one and you get a smaller one. So this one on the bracelet here was uh, done with the smaller mandrel. And then it comes in two parts. You just need to screw them together, so the pointy end to the pointy end. Screw your mandrels together, just like that, okay? And then you need to fit it into your handle. So you've got the hole on here, which is where your wire is going to attach. So you need to have your hole facing the screw on the front of your mandrel. So you put it in there, and then you use your key just to tighten. So it's really simple, straightforward and easy to do. It doesn't have to be dead tight, just tight enough to hold it in place. Okay, so that's your mandrel all set up. Then you're going to take your wire, so I'm going to use the 0.8 wire here. Okay, cut off the end so that it's straight. 
then what you're going to do is you're going to put your wire into this hole in the mandrel here, and that's it. You don't have to do anything else with it, you just fit it in there, okay? And then you're going to start turning. Now, the key with this mandrel is you don't want to pull on the wire, okay? Because if you pull on the wire, your wire is going to want to go closer to the smaller section of the mandrel. So what you want to do is you want to turn the mandrel, mandrel and then you want to use your, your thumb to position the wire around it, just like that, nice and gently. So just turn, so don't pull too hard on the wire, don't hold onto the wire, just let it turn around your mandrel nicely. And keep turning until you get towards the middle. So make sure some of your wire is unrolled so that you're not pulling on that wire. Okay, so take your time with it. Practice a little bit with it, obviously, because uh, you might want to practice a bit. And then just keep going like that until you get to the center. And then obviously you just carry on. Obviously I haven't done it very neatly here because I'm rushing a little bit, but take your time just to make sure those coils are nice and close together. And then keep doing the same thing up the other side. Now this side doesn't matter so much, even if you do pull on the wire a bit, but it's still better not to pull on the wire. Just let it sort of shape itself. Okay. As I say, just take your time to make sure it's a bit neater than what I'm doing here. Okay, and then of course, this is where I thought the problem would come in if it wasn't for this mandrel, is how do you take it off the mandrel? Because obviously you can't pull it off the top because the center is thinner. So what you're gonna do, you're just gonna cut off the wire, okay, so that you've got your wire out of the way. And then before you take it off the bottom here, uh, what, uh, the, the top of the mandrel has got like this little sort of grooves cut into it, so you can hold onto it there. And then hold onto your wire as well and just untwist the top of the tool, which is where this is really handy because it comes apart. So you take off the top bit. Okay, now, now you need to release it from the, the hole at the bottom. So you just cut your wire. Uh, let me just use my other cutters. I'm sorry. These ones here, a bit sharper. So just cut your wire there at the bottom and then your cone slips off the top just like that. And then you can take this bit of wire out of your mandrel. And then just to neaten it up, you just want to cut off the little bits at both ends. It'll be a little bit neater if you take your time with it. I've just made it really quickly here. Okay, but even if it's not entirely neat, it doesn't matter because most of the time when you use it, you're going to push it together in your design anyway. So um, that's gonna look a bit neater. And then just quickly to show you how to put the bracelet together. So I'm showing you this one here. So I've done two little cones to go on that end and then I've done the hourglass cone to, for the middle. So you're going to use your 0.4 wire. You need to cut two lengths of your 0.4 wire. If, you, if you're using a, a double twist or one of the necklaces I did four lengths, uh, the other one I did three lengths. So however many lengths of your gemstones you want to twist together. So just take your your 0.4 wire, put a wrapped loop on the end, which I'll show you in a second how to do on the other end, and then you're just going to thread on your tips and nuggets. So I'll show you how I thread them on to make it a little bit quicker, because obviously if you do them one by one, they can take quite a while to do. So what I do is I take a group of nuggets, maybe five or six of them like that, hold them securely between your two fingers, pull the temporary wire out, and then you've got all the holes lined up. Now, they might miss a line in your fingers, but it doesn't matter. Even if, they, if you can't get your wire through all of them at once, at least you know where the holes are, because all the holes will be facing forward. So it's easy to find the holes. That's the biggest problem. If you have your nuggets loose like this, I mean, sometimes you drop a few and you still have to do that. The hardest part is finding where the hole is. So that's what takes time if you're going to thread them one by one. Beginning mistake that most people make, I think, the first time they use nuggets is they get the nuggets and then they take them straight off the strand. And then it's just a nightmare to re-thread all of them. As you can see, it's taking me forever just to thread those three to find the holes. So definitely don't take them off the strand. Just take a few of them and then sometimes you get lucky and your wire will just go straight through. 
sometimes because they're nuggets, they might jiggle around in your finger a little bit. But at least you have all the holes facing forward, or occasionally you might drop a few like I've done there. But at least most of them you can thread on much quicker than if you do all of them one by one. Okay? So that's just a quick tip if you've never used nuggets before. Okay, so you're going to thread your nuggets onto your wire. Okay, I'm just going to do a few of them now. I've already done another one here. Obviously, you'd keep going until your two lengths here were the same length. Okay, so those are almost the same length, right? And then you just simply thread your wires through your cone. So this cone is going to be in the middle of the bracelet. Just pass them through that way. And then you're going to add your nuggets onto the other end as well. And then because it's wire, as I said earlier, when you twist them together, that twist is going to stay like that. Okay. And then you just attach your clasp at the end. All you need to do, you can put another cone on, but you don't absolutely have to. You can just put um, a jump ring on there and then put it straight onto your clasp. Um, and then that's how your bracelet makes up. And you would do exactly the same if you were making a necklace. Obviously, you just make it longer. And as I say, you can have more strands if you wanted it to be a bit more chunky. And then, of course, you have the larger mandrels. Uh, you have a really big size mandrel here, which, again, you don't have to use the whole mandrel to make one of the, the cones. You can just do the middle section to make a smaller one. Or if you've made a big one and you realize that it's too big, you just need to cut the ends down. So like for this one as well, if I cut some of the coils off the end, it would just become a smaller mandrel. I mean, a smaller, a smaller cone like that. You could even have one side larger than the other side. So if you, have, if you cut this side down, then you could have two strands coming out of that side and one strand coming out of the top. So you've got options there with your cones. And it's really simple and really easy to make. And I think it's a really nice, effective addition to your, to your nuggets. Love, love, love your jewellery and the cone-tastic tool. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, cone-tastic. It is. And I finally um, can make an hourglass cone. Yes. <laughs> so. And do you know what else I like? The names of these kits. Here he is, man himself. Do you know what the names of these kits are? Wayne, Go on. Wayne, we've got nuggets of wisdom. We've got plenty of that. A pocket full of nuggets. <laughs> I haven't got that. Not played until Friday. <laughs> Empty. I love nuggets. <laughs> Oh, yeah, definitely got plenty of that. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne, you all right, lovely? Yes. It's a Monday morning. I've got a bit of an apology. There's oh. a bit, been a bit of a mix-up with the kits this morning. It's not three for two. It's, you put four in your basket and you pay for three, you get the other one for free. Right. Uh -huh. so, sorry, we were a bit... One, no, sorry. no, no, yeah, no, no. We were a bit confused as well. Which is crazy anyway. Which yeah. Which is an amazing deal, so... Yeah. So hang on, all of those or yeah. four of one? It could be four of one, yeah. can it? It could be four of one. It okay. Could be two of them, one of them. As long as you put four in your basket, then, you, then you'll it... get one free. Oh, Amazing. So you'll pay for three and you get the We've one. We've never free. had free kits before. Never. <laughs> we were trying to actually. Th have we done this before? No, not like that. No, no nothing never. like this. Maybe come forward if it works. Then if yeah. it works, yeah. then we'll do it. Good we'll to lose... see you, Bashosaurus. We're losing money just so you know, doing this. So take advantage while you can. And to say sorry, I've give Laura an extra special product to trash to say sorry. So. Amazing. Uh, stay tuned. It's Wayne, everybody. <laughs> also Laura. known as Bashosaurus. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, do a floss. Do a floss, Wayne. No floss. No flossing. <laughs> no flossing. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Sorry about that. Bit of a mix up on the actual kits. We were all ever so confused. Monday morning and all of that. Um, thank you, Monica. You oh, are absolutely awesome, as always. Oh. More of your beautiful nuggets coming up at 11 o'clock as well in the masterclass. But little apology deal coming your way, apparently. I don't know. I, you've got to stay tuned to the end of the hour. I don't even know what that is. More nuggets? Yes, please. Yes, never please. get enough nuggets. Oh, I like those. Oh, this is the purest white Ethiopian opal that I've. I've got to borrow one of these. Yeah, I've got to bor borrow a blackboard. Oh my goodness me, Adam, have you seen these? The play of colour, so pure. Normally Ethiopian opal's got a kind of yellowish colour, isn't it? These, um, are definite. Pure, almost linen fresh white colours. Oh. 
Again, remember, in the studio, it doesn't do Ethiopian opal any favours. So if I kind of shelter it ever so slightly um, from the light sources, here we go, look at the recording. Um, you've got your reds, your blues, oh. your greens, all completely and utterly natural. Ethiopian opal, wow. Um, that's a full 110 yeah. carat opportunity. I think particularly Ethiopian opal, it really works when it comes to your, uh, sort of your chips and nuggets. Um, because it's not being dictated by a certain calibration or a certain facet. Um, there you go, look, look, there we go. Um, it's literally as Mother Nature intended. So you get these really beautiful free forms, completely natural colour, pure white. Normally Ethiopian opal, actually, like I said earlier on, has more of like a honey colour to it. Um, but definitely, definitely not what I'm seeing on this screen. Um, okay, they, you're loving it. I'm loving it too. Apparently, we're going to fall off our seats. <gasps> that is low, isn't it? I was expecting this to be maybe 20 to 24. Oh, and that's so beautiful. I mean, no, I wouldn't have said 14. Look at the colour of, look at the play of colour that you're seeing. That's wow. absolutely awesome. And, and it's pure white colour as well. Can you see? Beautiful, tiny silica spheres. We only had 17, they're absolutely flying out the door. We, um, yeah, tiny silica spheres, because opal actually doesn't have a crystal structure like diamonds, rubies, emeralds, etc. Um, so tiny silica spheres will actually produce play of colour um, within this amazing gemstone that is basically formed uh, 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 over millions of years. Um, ancient water that once seeped through cracks and crevices within the actual host rocks itself. Um, this was only discovered in the 1990s. This location of opal only discovered in the 1990s and in that very short period of time, comparatively speaking, has definitely uh, gained itself um, as one of the most well leading global sources of this beautiful, beautiful gemstone. And this is why I prefer Ethiopian opal to Australian opal. If I can even have, if I'm allowed a preference, I would say Ethiopian opal because you have more of a, a translucency to yes. it. Yes. So the play of colour is not just on the outside, it's, it's sort of deep within. Oh. Um, okay, let's bring you Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. See, if you thought chips and nuggets was going to exclude your high-end gemstones, you'd be very greatly mistaken. So this, imagine this now, be inspired by the Harry Winston sort of colour palette. So you had the mandarin garnet oh, earlier yes. on. Imagine using mm. these as the halo. From a location of source that, that depleted, uh, um, well, well over a decade ago, actually. Um, and still to this day, we're talking about Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. Harry Winston, that piece of jewellery that I showed you earlier on, it was Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. Why? Um, because it is, has the most amazing uh, um, duck egg blue, um, but also minimal matrix. So there's very little of your sort of black patterns webbing, if you like, within this stone. You do get some, of course, but um, if you actually look, you could probably single some out, which are completely clean and pure. Um, yeah, this hasn't been on your screens for some time. Saved. Um, to be part of your nugget day today. So yeah, listen, we can bring you more abundant gemstones in your nuggets, you know, maybe things like your jaspers um, and, and varieties of quartzes. Sleeping Beauty is deplete. It's gone over a decade ago. And on my recent trip over to Tucson, they are still talking about it. In fact, there are booths designated to Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. And guess what? They are guarded. They're, they're, they literally have the security guards um, on either end because the value is so incredibly high. £12.99 pence only. That's wow. unbelievable. Wow. It's like I said, I can bring you turquoise from lots of different locations around the world. It forms in lots of arid areas, you know, Tibet, for example, Mexico, for example, all around the Arizonian desert. But still to this day, the most historic and celebrated is the Sleeping Beauty turquoise mine. Yeah, I mean, you can see it in the colour, can't you? I mean, you recognise it, yeah. don't you? You can see it. Half the stock is gone. Uh, good morning, Tina, Christine, uh, Christine in Essex, Christina in Cornwall, Nancy, Carol, Gabrielle, Jackie, Marge, Tracy, Jean, 
Um, yeah, we will never have many of the Sleeping Beauty turquoise. So that's the reality. Even if it was a deal of the day, we wouldn't have a massive quantity. Did you just say what I thought you said? Songy is sapphire. Again, a closed mine. Wow. The song gear mine closed before Sleeping Beauty. Why is the song gear sapphire again recognized? Because it has some of the most amazing color palettes. So, for example, song gear uh, offers almost paparazzi s colors, the most beautiful green sapphires, the most amazing pinks. But it's not just about the colour from this location. It's also the clarity that you yes. get yes. from from the Songhee mine. But yeah, so like I said, the Sleeping Beauty turquoise uh, um, mine closed well over a decade ago. Songhee Sapphire is probably pushing two decades now. Wow, it's a long time, but again, still celebrated for the colour palettes, teamed with exceptional uh, exceptional clarity. Um, I know we won't have many of these, Laura. Oh, that's more than I expected. 82. I've done, I've, I've done Songia Sapphire showcases on our sister channel. Natural. No treatment, no enhancement. One for the collectors and the connoisseurs. It's one of those locations that literally, I don't know, jumps oh. into our show. We're all absolutely flabbergasted <laughs> by the amazing quality, but also the incredible price tag. You know, there's a reason lots of us will know of Song Gear. Again, your gem investors will have spoken about it before. The quality of the sapphires, the quality of the rubies as well that come from that location. It's all about the combination of color and clarity in one, which let's be honest, sapphire doesn't always have. It can be quite opaque. Yeah. yeah. But also, this is great if you're making um, birthstone jewellery because if somebody's birthstone is sapphire, so that would be September. Yes. Um, and they don't like the colour blue, then true. this is perfect. Yeah, yeah, true. Well, it's a prime location for showing different colours because most people yeah. still to this day do think sapphire is only blue. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, you get your pinks, you get your beautiful greens, you get canaries, and I've even got some flame oranges within here. Mm. Under £10 for a depleted location of source. Stay where you are. Um, oh, in fact, I'm going to get let Monica choose. Oh, yay. Oh, that's a hard choice. I'm going to go with the pink spinel. Pink spinel. <laughs> Good call. Good call. Go onto the GIA website and look at colour factors or colour grades of spinel. Um, and they'll actually talk to you about the, 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 again, the different palettes that this gemstone actually offers. Again, Spinel is one of those just recently made um, into a birthstone, of course, for all you August babies out there. Most people think black Spinel is the only colour that it offers. Um, but similarly to your sapphires, it comes in a beautiful array. But how it differs is you get utmost purity um so with spinel you don't tend to get secondary hues it is much more pure in their color saturation mm. but if you go onto the gia website one of the things they'll actually mention on there is that red and jedi uh, red and pink so i'm looking here got your lovely pinks got some even some purpley colors even in there and definitely those jedi tones very rare and very, very, very valuable. Spinel is often mined alongside that of rubies. Um, it's another reason why it has fantastic durability because it forms in those same locations. This is completely and utterly natural. I'm all about this strand. I remember launching Pink Spinel here on Jewelry Maker and we were launching them at prices like 40, 50 pounds, which is yeah. amazing by the way, for much, much, much smaller wow. carat weights than what you're looking at right now. That's ridiculous. I'd use this with my Burmese jadeite. Would you agree? Yes, and you can, you can, I mean, the designs that I've showed with the other nuggets, you could, you could use your sterling silver wire, yeah. for example, with your, with your pink spinel yeah. and do sort of high-end versions. It's interesting that you say that because I would, I would say mm. silver. Yeah. It's the rarity of the gemstone and the fact that it is completely and utterly natural. Yeah. Nine pounds and 99 pence, maybe single it out. I would actually even go as far as, and I'm not normally this, this type of person, but I would put the Jedi Reds together. I would put the Pink Spinels. I'd put the Movie Tones uh, together as well. All about an amazing purity, 
always completely and utterly natural. Certain colors of your spinel are rarer than others. This is absolutely one of those. We've taken it to a brand new low price. How many did we have then, Laura? 40, not that many. No, and we're never gonna have many of them. Just take a section, like an inch, and put it onto a slider bracelet. Yes, oh yes. Love it, love it. Let's do the tourmaline. So I've asked her to choose, and we're gonna do it anyway. Well, they go so well together, though, they don't do. they? Ah, oh, Monica, look at that. Yes. The chrome tourmaline in this is amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chrome tourmaline, again, completely natural. The most complex of your gemstones. I don't think bar any in terms of the actual chemical composition. But what you're actually getting here is a, a parcel of multiple colours. So you've got, if you look at the top, can you see those teals? Some might describe uh, those teals as your indicolite shades. Uh, you've got your chrome. You've got your natural pinks within here as well. Oh, sorry, that's my foot just slipping off the step. Um, all completely and utterly natural. It's Brazilian tourmaline. Now, we have a big quantity of these. Speak to any gemstone collector and connoisseur and say, what's your favourite gemstone? And I bet most of them, if not all, will actually rate tourmaline. Hmm. Yeah. And yet here, if, I, if, if I'm honest, it's not one of our biggest sellers here at Jewellery Maker. It always confuses us because if you think about it, you've got watermelon colours. That recording was amazing because you actually, you've got watermelon colours mm. here as well. It's all completely natural. Um, and I've, I've said this to you before, but if you can take a pin and pop it in an atlas, imagine yep. that. That tiny, minuscule location wow. um, on this vast planet there has to be in excess of 50 different chemicals forming under the correct temperatures and pressures to produce just one of those stones. Mm. And then here we are bringing it to you in a 150 carat strand <laughs> for £8.99. pence. I don't know, it's one of those gems that's almost a little bit misunderstood, I think, here at Jewelry Maker. Um, you know, and this confuses me, your gold stone sells, uh, is more popular than tourmaline. Really? It's my, yeah. Wow. Makes me think of summer flowers with the yeah, green and the pink. Yeah, oh, yes. Oh, and with the techniques that you just demonstrated, Monica, yeah. that would be perfect. So yes. I'm looking at your bracelet at the front yeah. where they're twisted. Yeah. Twisted because together. Ooh. that is like a bouquet, isn't it? Oh, definitely. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Textures, colours. It's like a quintessential English country garden, isn't it? All in a strand. I've got some obsidian. Stay where you are, make sure you check out your baskets on this one. Gabrielle, Christine, Cheshire, Tina, Patricia, Eileen, Cindy, uh, Helen, you're there, and Kay in Warwickshire. Keep on texting in as well. We've got a lot to bring you today. Your deal of the day, which I haven't mentioned nearly enough, I'm kicking myself now, is Moldavite today. Uh, Moldavite is a one locational stone um, that that occurred from a direct impact that ha had uh, with an e meteorite and mother nature herself. It happened in one location on this planet, incredibly rare, beautiful, natural green tones. Um, that's coming up at 10 o'clock. We'll talk some more, but make sure you're with me. Definitely one for the collectors and the connoisseurs. Um, Wayne's apology deal, are we doing it now? So yeah, there was a bit of a mix up in the, in the kit hour. Apologies for that. Is this it? He's apologising with Ruby. <laughs> wow. I mean, yeah, you can do that more often, can't he? Um, should we throw... Faceted Ruby, under £20. Under twenty pounds. Ah, oh, there's a hundred opportunities. The king of gemstones, as it's so fondly referred to. Cast your mind back. I don't know to maybe when your first passion of gemstones and jewellery actually began. Did you think? Did you think that you would own ruby? 
Because I definitely didn't. It was one of those that I thought it's way beyond my budget. Because every single ruby yeah. piece of jewellery... I mean, it's a gemstone of fairy tales, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it, 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 rubies. It, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can remember the, uh, the owner of the jewellers that I worked at, we very rarely ever saw her, and she was one, she was a very stern character and mm. very, very, very intimidating. Um, when she did used to step into the shop, it would almost be one of those, like, you'd quiver ever so slightly with just nerves. But she wore the most amazing ruby ring. Wow. Which I have no idea what it cost, but I should imagine it was quite the investment. And, yeah, I, I had this rubies, like you said, fairy tale. It was that immediate perceived value yeah. that I'd never be able to afford it. Yeah. It is only purely down to jewellery maker that I can now say I am a custodian of this beautiful gemstone. And the fact that we don't buy in the same way as those jewellers that I worked at um, do. We don't add the 400% margin plus VAT. We will bring 100 quantities and we'll work off minuscule margins. And I also know that you're going to make the piece of jewellery. But that doesn't mean that you have to maybe um, substitute out the quality. Because look at these glowing natural rubies faceted as well furthermore five by four to eight by seven well they are calibrated sizes so if you do, if you don't want to use the drill hole don't yeah. no you don't have to yeah you could treat them as individual solitaires yeah. you can you can set them in your wire work you can again you can put them with your seed beads you can do all sorts of things and so much potential yeah and an apology deal, natural ruby. It's not lacking in that beautiful presence and luminosity that we expect from fine quality ruby. Um, it's not so deeply included that the borderline's matte um, or, or even opaque, luminous. And we're looking here in the studio, which, which frankly actually is not ruby in its best form. Take this to your window, take it out to natural sunlight and allow these beautiful, the king of gemstones to bask. We have a hundred of these available. This is Wayne's apology deal. We have promised it under £20, and that is exactly what we will do. Exactly what we'll do. You know, this is my daughter's birthday, and she's a, she's a July baby. Mm. Um, I bought myself a, um, a ruby ring, not from the jewellers, by the way, that, um, that I used to work at. <laughs> Definitely couldn't afford that. Um, but I spotted one. It was actually a second-hand ring, um, and I loved it immediately. It had marquee uh, cut rubies. Um, and again, I spoke to Jake, my friend, and he was basically saying, well, you paid over the odds. I said, I don't care. I don't care because I love the design of yeah. it and the fact that it was actually ruby. Um, but I had to, you know, I had to, I had to save for it. We're talking about £19.99 oh. and we're not stopping there. Just a, a section of these across the wrist, yeah. maybe in between your pearls. Yeah, but also if you've got the, um, the set of rubies we had earlier, oh. And you made a sort of a nice focal piece out of those, then you could use this to make the rest of your bracelet and then have a completely ruby bracelet, for example. I mean, can you imagine that? That would be absolutely amazing. <laughs> and you know, I, I've I've shown PowerPoints before. I'm not gonna do it now because obviously time is ticking, but look at places like Shopard, Bulgari. You know, they are working with Cartier. They are working with your non-calibrated sizes, your beads, basically, like yeah. this. You, you know, your drill gemstones, just like this. Um, I've shown you that sort of that platinum parakeet with the tassel of rubies underneath. Fortunes in terms of the price tag. Be inspired by those designers. We are not stopping here. Just one of those. Turn it into a little stretchy ring. You've made ruby, genuine natural ruby jewellery. Wayne's apology deal. For natural ruby, when 95% of the world's ruby is actually treated and enhanced. <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's actually ridiculous. I don't think we've done ruby nuggets at that price tag. You know, again, Monica, I'm thinking with pearls. I'm thinking wow. about pearl ruby, oh, pearl ruby, yes, pearl ruby, yes. pearl ruby. Can you imagine that? Oh. Mm. It, it's legacy <laughs> My jewelry, mind, my isn't mind it? is... <laughs> working about, over time yeah and you're not alone there's a load of people joining in and recognizing okay yeah that's not normal it isn't normal it is an apology deal for you uh <coughs> christina cheshire 
Staffordshire Ted, hello to you Erica, hello to you Alex Nita, uh, Mandy, hello to you Tina, Janet, Lincolnshire, Valerie and Lynn. Uh, new customer, new customer on the phone lines, welcome to the wonderful world of jewellery maker, Pauline, Victoria, Angela, Karen, Lynn. I, I'd multi buy as well. Oh, I was going to say, if you, you know, at that price, if you got three of them <laughs> to make a full ruby necklace, wow, it'd still be less than £40. I know, it's just ludicrous really, in between and oh. What's our target price on this? What are we meant to be bringing it to air at? $94.99 is our guide price. That sounds about right, actually. It, well, it does, yeah. yeah. I think we'd have probably done something a little bit of a deal on, on, on the live show. But $12.99. So when Wayne says sorry, he absolutely means it, doesn't he? Because he's giving rubies away. Linda, hello to you. Sharon, hello to you. Valley, uh, Valerie, Gabrielle, Ruth, you're... Would, you, would I be able to make a bracelet? Yes. Yeah. You if you if you put some spaces in between, it would yeah. almost make its way all the way. In fact, it probably would with a clasp. If I turn my hand that way, yeah. Yeah. Once by the time you add some spaces in a clasp, it will be a full ruby tennis bracelet. Can you imagine that? Because hmm. the actual length of the strand is 10 centimetres, although I'm looking at that thinking it's maybe a little bit more. Um, maybe multi-buy, and then you can do that full tennis bracelet. It's on genuine ruby. Um, if you are thinking about around the wrist, you have to, normally have to be quite careful about what gemstones you wear um, at that particular area of the body because your wrist... Well, you put it down on desks, yeah. you know, you can knock your wrist quite easily. Ruby is right up there on the Mohs scale. It's nine on the Mohs scale. Um, so you are looking at one of the world's most durable gemstones as well. Um, make sure you check out, like I said, we had 100 opportunities for each and every single one of you. Again, use this maybe in amongst your beautiful gemstones that you've seen and you will be seeing throughout the course of Nugget Day. Stay where you are on those phone lines. I'll leave the graphics with you. Um, make sure you secure yours. We've still got so much to bring you, including Moldavite as your deal of the day. Um, yeah, I can't remember the last time I spoke about Moldavite. So much so I'm actually nervous to present it to you. It's a beautiful gemstone, otherworldly. We've got an amazing masterclass as well with Monica at 12 o'clock. And Toby Cavill is stepping into this studio from 11. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. 
Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Jewellery Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewellery Maker. Here at Jewellery Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Still to this day, if anybody ever asks me, what's your favourite gemstone to actually talk about? And I think Moldavite is absolutely up there because it has the cooler story. Would you all agree? Cool and yet catastrophic. Um, millions of years ago, millions of years ago, a meteor impact that uh, occurred it actually hit Germany and created what we call a strone field. Um, which, as you can imagine, at 45,000 miles per hour, it was not contained. That strone feel actually reached as far as the Czech Republic. Now, that, that occurrence, if you like, that uh, otherworldly uh, being that is the meteorite and its collision with Mother Nature is the single only reason that this gemstone exists. And that is why Moldavite a real miracle, not just of Mother Nature, a miracle of outer space. But those two, that collision together, created this gemstone. And it has never occurred, never been found anywhere else on this planet. And if you look at the probabilities and exactly what happened to create the gemstone, unlike likely to be found anywhere else. So what is Moldavite? Well, I have a couple of slides I can show you um, about this beautiful gemstone. And the first sentence that this article actually says, a gemstone from outer space, which technically isn't true, technically, because it's not meteorite. It's meteorite and mother nature. You know, that, that, you know, that marriage of those two, two, two uh, um, how, what, how do we describe this? Um, those two beings, that created the gemstone. But let's read, Moldavite is a rare dark green translucent gem that was formed when a large rock from outer space meteorite struck Earth's surface in the Moldai River Valley, hence its name in Czech Republic, around 14 million years ago. It is believed that this huge meteorite did not burn up in space and its hot mass hit the earth at a speed in excess of 13 miles per second. That's over 45,000 miles per hour. First discovered in 1786, this gem has yet to be found in any other location on the world. And part of the mystique and appeal to this stone is that some of its components cannot be found anywhere else in the world. 
NASA themselves, tests carried out by NASA have found that the pressure of some of the small little bubbles within the gemstone are equivalent to the pressure of approximately 13 to 50 miles above the Earth's surface. So if you see your Moldavite and you get maybe a, a loop or a, a microscope to it and you see those beautiful little bubbles within, they are very, very much part of the appeal of this gemstone. So some might initially think that they're inclusions. No, that's part, it's the heartbeat, if you like, of your, um, of your Moldavite. In 1963, uh, Queen Elizabeth II was presented with a tiara in which the central gem was a natural, unfaceted moldite. A bit like what you're looking at right at today as your deal of the day. Surrounded by diamonds and pearls, this was presented to her by the Swiss government in order to celebrate her 10th year on the throne. This really is one of the most fascinating stones to not only talk about, but absolutely to own. When you look at images like the ones I'm about to show you, like this. And then let's take a little look, a closer look at the town. What do you notice about this location? It's all built in a circle. Now, that's not by chance. That circle is literally yeah, it almost looks like they don't want to mix uh, with the surrounding. But no, 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 that circle is where the meteor uh, actually struck Earth all those millions of years ago. So the history lives on within the location itself. Images like this. There we go. You can see the actual impact. Well, you know, the actual crater where it was, uh, where it struck Earth. And where, how far in terms of distance um, the Czech Republic is. But this is where you actually find Moldavite and the only location in the world where you'll find Moldavite. Um, some people don't realize this. Like I said, it's a very rare one locational gemstone. But apparently the majority of the world's Moldavite is, is, is unobtainable. And that's because it is so deep down below the ground that actually... Uh, um, Miles, miles and miles and miles below the ground. Um, so and we can't reach it because there have been legislations and rules which have been put in with the Czech Republic government um, to basically say, no, it's against conservation, so we need to preserve that area of location. So much of the world's Moldavite will never even be seen. So this is a very rare, highly collectible gemstone that has, if you like, a lifeline of mining. So you think about it, Burmese ruby, we know that we've only got, what, decade left of mining. We've got tanzanite, where it says between 15 and 20 years. Um, I should imagine Moldavite is going to be right up there in terms of the limited time frame. But let's talk about how valuable this gemstone is. How workable. Well, you've seen Queen um, Elizabeth II actually had this, was presented by the Swiss government. Um, but usually this is a gemstone which is very much uh, um, within the, the grasp of your boutique jewellers, those who want to create something equally as fascinating and quirky within their sort of design inspiration. So take a little look at this design that I actually found online. I love how they've almost replicated the textures of Mother Nature, sort of holding on to that otherworldly gemstone as well. It's called the Mystic Oasis Ring. It features Moldavite, which you'll notice as well, non-faceted. You know, can you see the texture, which I really love about Moldavite? You have this glassy-like texture to it, um, and it's basically like a slice. Um, a rose cut and rose cut diamonds on the side. 420 pounds. 420 pounds it's a beautiful piece would we all agree beautiful piece i'm trying to work to see uh if it's actually in silver here we are made in 925 sterling silver 420 pounds so here is a gemstone that can and does fetch astronomical prices i have another piece i can show you it's one simple piece of rough and the reason why I show this, might well even be one of your designs, is because it's wrapped in sterling silver wire, techniques that we can demonstrate and show to you. One single slither, a slice of Moldavite, 60 pounds. 
I'm about to bring you an amazing collection of Moldavite, a parcel, positively, coming presented in this beautiful golden box. It's all completely and utterly natural. Outer space meets Mother Nature. Moldavite is found in that one location where a large meteorite struck Earth's surface, believed to have impacted Germany, and the consequences would have been so catastrophic, creating a strewn field that reached as far as the Czech Republic. <clears throat> Tests by NASA found that the pressure within those tiny bubbles were equivalent to 13 to 15 miles above the surface, the Earth's surface. This fascinating stone, a very rare form of tectite, is found in one sole location. Now, if we, <coughs> excuse me, fast forward, I don't know, 10 years, 20 years, I can't say exactly when, I don't know. But when it's announced to the world that the Moldavite deposits, the mine has closed, which happens, we've heard about it, we were talking about it with the Songi of Sapphire earlier on and the Sleeping Beauty turquoise. So when that uh, sole deposit announces its closure, what do you think is going to happen to the price of each and our individual Moldavite pieces that we own or we've collected over the years? Is it going to go down or is it going to go dramatically up? Yeah, absolutely the latter. Now, the nature, the whole nature of Moldavite is the fact I won't have huge amounts and yes, it's more an investment stone incredibly popular on our sister channel, incredibly popular here at Jewelry Maker, incredibly popular globally, because it's fascinating. It's cool, as my husband would say. Every time I talk to him about this gemstone, you know, I'm like, oh, we had Moldavite today, and he just goes, cool. It's a cool stone. Do you agree, Monica? You're smiling across the studio. It's cool. Definitely, yeah. If you get it for no other reason, just get it because it's so cool. It's cool. <laughs> It's one of those, you go, it's, the whole story behind this yeah. stone is, is cool and you can't describe it any other way, can you? Are you ready for this? There are, which is exciting by the way, 150. But the moment I say this next sentence, I think there's going to be an, a reaction. I truly believe, and I can only speak for myself, I think this is going to be the most afford or one of the most affordable Moldavite opportunities that you've ever seen. Because I don't recall, personally, forgive me if I'm wrong, ever bringing you Moldavite at your today's deal of the day price tag. That's all natural. There is no other gemstone, none, not one, that can even remotely come close in terms of its story, that meteorite that didn't burn up through the Earth's atmosphere, that literally struck Earth, what, 13 million years ago, an occurrence which, as you can imagine, was completely and utterly catastrophic. Thankfully, that's only ever happened there. Um, and that basically means that's the only place we'll ever see this gemstone. Graphics alive and already people and collectors are getting involved from all around the world as well. Pop this, put a section onto a slider bracelet alongside sterling silver. The clock is ticking away and that's going to be uh, your, it's your call to action, basically. If you're a collector of gemstones, if you're fascinated by gemstone story, you know, I love the big five, I do. I love diamonds, I love rubies, I love sapphires, I love emeralds and tanzanites, but none of them have the same, none of them have the rarity, first and foremost, and none of them have the story that you can actually get from Moldavite. There are certain stones that whether you are a gemstone collector, connoisseur, jewellery maker, which immediately you conjure up a response. If I, spoke, uh, if I spoke to my brother, who's the most dry, you know, a, a person that you could imagine, uh, you know, talking stones, he tuned in once upon a time. I've told this story before. He was like, you got really excited about a head pin. I was like, yes, yes, I did, because you don't know what headpins do. Uh, but if I mentioned Moldavite and told him the story about Moldavite, even he'd get excited about this opportunity. It's cool. It is, yeah. Are you ready? Hmm. 
not your deal of the day price. Should be. One of the things I'm kicking myself now, because I, I should have spoken to our colleagues on the sister channel and actually said to them, when was the last time you had a Moldavite showcase? I'm fairly sure each of us would have heard about it, right? Might maybe have been on one of the prime shows, but even then, most of us would have actually heard about that showcase. And the reason why I'm mentioning that is because if our sister channel struggles to bring their lovely viewers Moldavite, the betting is the entire world will have that same challenge. Yet we're bringing not just one stone, two and a half carats of a parcel, effectively, as Mother Nature intended in these beautiful, irregular shapes. That is not your deal of the day. I'm just going to quickly go back to one more statement, I suppose. I can only speak for myself. I don't know about my, my colleagues and, uh, and other hosts here at Jewelry Maker, but personally, I don't remember ever bringing you a Moldavite deal like the one you're about to see. So if you are passionate, if you're an avid connoisseur, if you're a collector of some of the most exciting gemstones that exist, and let's think about it. You've got amber, of course. Amber, we think, I was watching actually Jurassic Park the other day. Um, you think about amber, you think about the dinosaurs. You think about amylite, you think about that another one locational stone. You think about millions of years, that preservation of life in that beautiful iridescent stone. Another cool one, right? There's lots of stones that we will, will, will have a wonderful story behind, but none of them, not one, will have the story that Moldavite actually does. I can see so many of you are already passionate and making sure you secured your place. Well done, Christina, Susan and Brian, Linda, Helen, Judith, Doreen, Linda, Heidi in Arizona, well done. Janice, UK, hello to Cheshire, North Yorkshire. Names going off the bottom of the screens. 29 pounds and 99 pence for natural genuine moldavite we've halved that price tag i've brought a single moldavite pieces before at more than what's on your screens and you've got an entire strand an entire strand in this opportunity Certified as well, maybe worthwhile getting hold of that certificate of authenticity, jewelry makers, because then you can show off that it is absolutely the real deal. Monica, I mean, um, because these are obviously your organic shapes, which I prefer yes. in, in Moldavite personally, I, I think it's one of those gemstones that looks, it showcases its, it, it, its history yes. um, with the sort of irregularities rather than actually having a, a, a calibrated cut. But what would you do with a strand like this? Because I'm very basic and it would literally just be on a, on a, on a slider bracelet. Well, that's what I was going to say, a slider bracelet, because that really makes a small section of it really stand out. Um, but you could also, um, when, you, when you bezel something, like if you have a, 